I have been banned. I have been sentenced to an evening in boob jail. for accidentally showing a nipple on my Twitch stream, which I apologize for and, and, and deserved. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. And that's, you know, that's the exact kind of behavior that lands you into a place like this. All right, it works. Yeah, you did made it. All right. How's the music? Is it too loud? Is it too loud? Tell me if it's, please tell me if it's too loud. So I guess I gotta, I gotta fix it if it's too loud. For all of you who want to call in, you you will get to call in. Actually, I mean you will you get to try. I don't know if you'll get in, but you'll get to try. Everyone says it's good. What happened to the cafe? The cafe is gone. The cafe, going to cafes is a luxury. Reserved for the outside world. It's reserved for people. It's reserved for law abiding citizens who do not show nipples accidentally on their Twitch channel. It's not going to cafes, going to the sky, going to cool forests, going to outer space. All privileges that can be taken away from you if you choose to violate the community guidelines of life. Wait, you can't see me because of the chat the chat scroll. All right. All right, everyone everyone who wants to call in, you'll get to call in, I promise. I mean, you'll get to. I can't promise that we'll get to talk. But All right. Let me go over like three things. Real quick before we start this before we start taking calls. Uh the first thing. Do uh, do not call me if you are under 18. I will hang up on you, and you'll you'll feel a little bad. So don't, so don't do that. You're you're banned if you call in, and you're under eighteen. I will find you, and I will ban you for breaking the rules of my stream, intentionally. Now that you have heard them. The second rule, I'm not an actual therapist. I mean, you can call in with whoever you want, but I'm also, I'm not a real therapist. I gotta give that disclaimer. Yes, they feed me bugs and sand. It is rude. I agree. It's very rude. If you're 22, that's amazing. That's a great age to be. Anyway. So the, the the topic of this evening is have you ever been banned? A ban can, a ban is anything. Getting arrested is being banned. Falling down a flight of stairs is being banned from those stairs. Being broken up is being ban being broken up with. It's being banned from a person. And and as always, you don't have to talk about the topic. You can call in and hang up immediately. I don't care. You can do anything. It doesn't matter to me. I'm glad that you finally got over that person, Lemon Man. I said there were three things. Those were the three things. Was the was the don't call in if you're under 18, I'm not a real therapist, and um, you know, we're talking about being banned. Or we're also talking about anything. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the line real quick. Hey, what's up, Chloe? Four zero one four seven two Gek. Call in. No more weird shower calls. I disagree. Call in with anything that you feel like you need to. 
I'm, I was banned from talking to one porn star on Twitter because I said nice things to another. What does that mean? A block ban. That counts as a ban. Alright, I'm gonna make an outgoing call. Voice will try to connect you. Gecko. Man. This is the Gecko Probation Office. Welcome to the Gecko Probation Office. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Uh, you know, we were just uh, reviewing some paperwork here, just uh, clearing some stuff up for the midnight transition. I just, uh, hold on, real quick, before we do this bit. I want everyone to know that, because uh, I don't want anyone to think that I planned this. I don't want anyone to think that the show is rigged in any way. And that I intentionally called you. I'm a, we look. We can do this bit. I just need everyone to know that I I did not set this up intentionally. I don't because people are gonna think it's rigged. They're gonna get angry. Because I because if it, look, it'd be one thing if you called me, and then started doing this. I get that. I get that for the context of the bit. It's funnier that I called you because then it would make more sense that. But I just don't want people to think it's rigged, and now they're gonna now everyone's gonna think it's rigged. This is 100% not rigged. I just left you a voicemail with this exact bit. And <laughs> I, I mean, you know, it, it, just seemed, it just seemed like the right play. Wait, is this Cameron? This is Cameron, yeah. Oh, shit. What's up, Cameron? <laughs> this, is, this, is, uh, this is the man. For everyone who wants to know, this is Cameron. This is the man... Who uh, was in the gecko suit threesome picture that that uh, you know that that landed me in boob jail? I I didn't know boob jail was actually a thing, or that there could be fiery acts of get pishing. There's only fiery gags of uh, gags. So Cameron, how do you feel about yes. how do you feel about um, what happened? You know, I I just. Uh... That, that that phone call I just you know because we were talking to you at the time and, and then we heard you just say no about 18 times and, and swear a couple of times and just get really sad and that just we felt so bad because we were just trying to make your night a, a little bit uh, I want to say happier but the right word feels like spicier yeah it was you um... know and, I was very sad. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty sad, but then, but then I woke up and I thought that I kind of thought it was really funny. Well, you you know, I mean, it, it just it just proves that that the gecko reach, you know, get, their therapy takes many forms, and I was just seeing how many forms it could take. The therapy. Yeah, you're trying. You're kind of breaking new boundaries here. Well, I mean, that's that's the whole point of this show is is breaking boundaries, and you know, just. Getting out and reaching people. I don't. I don't know what the whole point of this show is. I've. I've. St I've. I've said in every single broadcast. I don't know what is going on, and I still don't. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need about. We're gonna need about two hundred more of these before we come to any even glimpse of a conclusion. See, I think that's an excellent idea, and that's that's why I've been pushing the guys at the the probation office to uh, you know make sure that this midnight thing comes around because you know we we need this back. And you know, well, I I, so. you know, I'm gonna have to start. Send, I'll, I'll probably have to uh, send you a package in the mail of, uh, you know, forgive me gifts. You know, I'm thinking like, what, what, here's a question for you: What is a gecko? What What is the gecko's favorite candy? Candies, maybe. I like hot tamales. I like hot tamales, huh? Okay. What about Skittles? I like sour Skittles. You also a Starburst fan? Yeah. And how long did it take you to eat that cake you received in the mail? It's still here. I still have the cake. You still have the cake? Yeah, dude. 
I, I'm, I'm, I after would've... this, I'm probably gonna um, I'm probably gonna put it in the microwave. Heat, heat it up. I mean, I would have emotionally eaten that whole cake uh, by now. I would have just gotten like a, a not a glass, but like a bowl of milk and just kind of dipped it in and you know eat the cake. Or maybe some pudding. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that at four o'clock in the morning tonight. See, that's that's the best way to go about it. I mean, what else is there to do on a on a Monday night, you know, in a gecko suit, especially with apparently toxic chemicals on your face? Probably nothing. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, 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 Cameron. Look, all is forgiven. All is cool. I love you more than I than words could describe. And um, you know, stay out of trouble for me, okay? You know, Gek, I love you too, but I, I can't make that trouble promise, especially when uh, when it comes to uh, you know furthering the Gek, the word of the Gek. You're 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 a little rascal, Cameron, but I love you. <laughs> Have a good night, Gek. You too, man. Take care. But that was Cameron. He was the man in the gecko suit with the two women that were not in gecko suits that weren't in any clothes at all in the, in the, in the picture that is the reason that I am currently in boob jail talc is a substance alright I was doing this on my twitch stream but talc is a subs talc is I have here the makeup that I use and the, it's very talc based and apparently talc causes causes people in the chat were telling me that talc causes ovarian cancer but I was trying to tell them that I can't get ovarian cancer because I don't have ovaries so checkmate alright we're gonna do another incoming call oh do not disturb is on that's freaking why do I had do not disturb on this entire time. Fuck, I am so sorry. I had do not disturb. Everyone disturb me, please. Shit. All right. I'm, I that was I'm I'm done. That was stupid. All right. Look, one day we will get it. We will get another. Um, we will get a better call in system. Please leave your message for seven five. I'm call. If you if you're calling, to expect the call back. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. Hello? 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 Yes. How are you doing today? You know, I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Can you mute your stream for me? Yeah, yeah, I just muted it. I didn't even realize I that you, like, called back. I call back. I call. Sometimes the Google Voice thing doesn't show me that my. doesn't send me calls, so I have to make my own calls. Yeah, because I, I, I do it based on like, which of the number combinations last, look the coolest. I'm sorry, say that again? I, I called in, like, right when you got banned last time. I had to give my name before. So then I got really oh, shit. confused. Yeah. Have we spoke before? No, no. I actually, uh, last was, well, I guess I, I tuned in two before that. Two. But no, I've never called in before. First time, kind of short time. What's your name? Uh, I'm RJ. That's a kind of cool name. Yeah, Randall. So your name is Randall? Well, yeah, Randall Job. It's so, like Monsters, yeah. Inc. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, that was kind of a low point. You know, being a villain. Do you think that you have villainous traits? Uh, No. No, I would say I'm like a fairly, uh, I wouldn't say nice person, but like, just kind of goes with the flow. Would you consider yourself actively heroic? Actively heroic. 
Um, no, no, I would say it just kind of goes with the flow. I don't know. I guess I was kind of athletic growing up. I, I mean, I, I was a swimmer. I swam in college. I mean, that's not very cool. It, it was Division One, though. I guess that's, you know. It's all right. Yeah. Although, yeah. I mean, it's well, subjective. I, want... I don't know. Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's cool that you swam Division One college swimming? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess, like, uh, I, was, I was at the top of the sport. I only made it one year, though. Uh, I was working out 24 hours a week. No one wants to do that. But I guess no. some people do, because obviously it's college swimming is a sport, but it's not fun. Randall, have you ever been banned? Um, I you know I wasn't originally calling about this. The only thing I think of I got banned from was uh, our high school basketball games. Why did you get banned from your high school basketball games? Well, we were kind of like the leaders of the student section, and like it started out like we weren't allowed to chant people's numbers, uh, and then there was this uh, whole cheerleading incident where we started chair, like chanting at the opposite team's cheerleaders, and then the next game. Uh, we showed up as like security guards and there was this one obnoxious fan on like the other team and this was during the playoffs and we like went to his side and like tried to kick him out as like the security guards and then we got uh, kicked out but you were you were on the what squad no we were just like the leaders of the student section you know what is the soon section the, the student section like, we're, oh. like the, you know, the students sit and cheer. And then we dressed up as the security guards. And then we tried to, like, kick out an opposing fan, like, as a joke. And then we got kicked out. Do you feel like you deserved your ban? Yeah, probably. I mean, it was, like, it was during the playoffs, so there was only, like, one more game after that. And then, like, graduated. What Anyways, is soon? I was calling you. I thought you said soon. Nah, do that. You say the word soon hey, wanna... very fast, and it sounds like you're saying the word soon. Uh, I mean, should I like slow down? What 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 was the thing that you said you wanted to ask that you called in to ask? Yeah, so I guess uh, you know I graduated college like four years ago now, and, and I feel like I'm kind of in a weird place in my life. So I was I was looking for some advice or you know some help. Like, uh, I, you know, after I quit swimming in college, I uh, became, like, quite the party animal. And now I'm kind of, like, tired of partying. Like, I don't really like going out as much anymore. Like, I go, like, go weeks without drinking. But I'm not, like, really ready to, like, settle down into a relationship, you know? And now I just kind of feel like I'm in this gray area where, like, my friends are getting married, not really going out partying anymore. And it's just kind of, like, the. Well, which, which 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 road do you want to go down? Do you want to keep partying, or do you want to like, you know, sell down and not drink, or do you not like doing it? Because like, there's nothing, I, you know. Well, like like I said, I, dr I drank a lot in college, so I got pretty fat. And uh, like during the start of quarantine, like you know, you couldn't really go out. I don't really like drinking by myself. So like, I picked up running again because all the pools were closed, so I couldn't swim. So I, I've lost like 30 pounds over quarantine. But nice. now running's getting kind of boring, and uh, you know things are starting to open up a little bit. Like I mean, I'm obviously not going to, like huge house parties or anything, but like I can go out and get drinks with like two friends. You know what I think about a lot? If you really wanted to do this, you could probably go to like, I don't, you could probably go to like Thailand or some shit, right? And just find like w like find like a group of like other like like how like if you're like forty years old and you still want to party and shit, you could probably find like a, another group of forty year olds that also just want to party, and then just you know live and not do anything and like you know hang out in Thailand for like five thousand dollars a year. That's an option yeah. for you. Yeah, I, you, well, you, know, you should be aware that that exists for you. That's like another thing that's going on in my life right now. So, so I have like I live in Washington D.C. and, and I have like a, a pretty good job, and I don't really have to try that hard. 
I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of Washington, D.C., but, like, I know if I get another job, I'm going to have to start working harder. Yeah, you sound and, like you don't and, want that. Yeah, so that's why I've kind of been stuck here for, like, four years. Why don't you go somewhere where you don't need as much money? I mean, you can't right now because, um, you know, everyone's dying of a coronavirus, but you can yeah. go somewhere where, the, where you don't need as much money. Yeah, it's kind of the opposite of what I was thinking. I was thinking about moving to New York City, which is, like, somewhere where you need a lot of money. Oh. So you think I should move somewhere that, that's, like, not as good money? Or I guess not as good I guess so you want me to have, like, a less, less structured job? Oh, I don't want you to do anything. I don't, I'm not... You know, yeah, I guess like that. that was kind of the, the wrong thing to say. I don't know. What do you, What would you do in New York? I don't know. I, I'd probably follow her into, like, uh, some new friend circles. You know. What would you know. do for I money? I feel like there's, there's more things there. Well, right now I'm an accountant, and that, that, that's what I was saying. It's kind of lame, but I get paid, you know, pretty well. I don't really have to work that hard. Someone, someone in the chat, Brittany, said that you should try being homeless. Being homeless. That's... You know, I like camping. That's kind of like being homeless. Not really, because you know, because you, because there's a lot of mental stress associated with being homeless, and you don't have that mental stress when you're camping, because you know that you have a home to go back to when you're done. So it's it's kind of not like that at all. Hmm. Well, well, you know, I, I think I think you brought some good points here. I'm Absolutely. gonna, I'm gonna, you know, think about this, and maybe uh, you know, dwell on it for a while. And then maybe I'll uh, call you back once I make some place decisions. Rock and roll. All right. All right thank I love you, you very much, RJ. And I, I, of course, anytime. And I hope that you know you find you find what you're gonna do. Take care, brother. live in a van it's an idea I, I I I said I love him I thought I did How did I get banned? It's a long story. Call from Actually, it's not. Jasmine. Jasmine. Yo, hey. Hey. Hi. I didn't expect to uh to actually get a hold of you. I didn't expect to get a hold of you either. Wild. Yeah. It's a little, it's coincidental. Some might say serendipitous. How you I and I have somehow crossed paths against all odds. It was, uh, meant to be, eh? Have you ever been banned? Um... I mean... Not really. You know? I've never been banned from anything huge. I guess I've never done anything huge to be banned for, so. You ever been arrested? No. Not really done anything too exciting, I guess. What's the worst thing that you've ever done? When I was a kid, I pushed my sister down and she cracked her skull and had to get a whole bunch of staples in it. Um, but I mean, she didn't really hold it against me, so. 
Oh shit, thank you for the for the donations, Arizona and um J Villa. You said you cracked someone's skull? Yeah, my sister. <laughs> How'd that happen? I I pushed her down, um and like on, on the tile floor. Why'd you do that? Uh, I don't know. I was like four or five. I was pretty young. I just kind of pushed her because, I don't know, we were doing something stupid and I, I don't know. How old are you now? I'm 18 now. What, okay, the time between now and when you did that, what have you learned about people? I've learned that people, in my opinion, I like to believe that there isn't really good and bad people. I like to think that people are naturally born good, but they do bad things in their life. But no matter what you decide to do, you can still be better. Do you think I can be redeemed? Yeah. What does the path to my redemption look like in your eyes? Um... I don't know, you just kind of wait out the being banned, and then you just go back to, to streaming. Well, alright. What'd you say your name was? Jasmine. Well, Jasmine, you know, this was, this was two people talking on the phone to each other about a whole bunch of stuff. And, um, these, how, wait, how's your relationship with your sister now? Now we're like best friends. She's like my favorite person in the world. Well, good. Don't, um, I actually want to talk about something else, if, if you don't mind. Mm, what is it? Uh, it's about, like, the universe sending you messages and shit. Oh, sorry, can I, can, can I curse? Can you, can you, <laughs> can you, can you talk about the universe, can you, do you think you can say what you have to say about the universe sending you messages in under 60 seconds? Yes. Alright. I believe that the universe sends you messages. Um, so I've been getting a bunch of tarot readings that all pull the same card about, like, my soulmate and, and shit, and it's just fucking wild. I just feel like there's certain things that people send you or something, and, and it just finds their way. I respect that. Well, Jasmine, you know, this was, um, this was a lot for, for both yeah. of us, I think. I think we got a lot accomplished here, and, um, and I love you very much, and I'll talk to you again soon, and I'll, and I'll be sending you messages spiritually through the universe, occasionally, well, when you. I have time. <laughs> All right, Jasmine, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Have a good night. You as well. Sent her talc. I will, I will time. Call from David. 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 What's up, buddy? David. David. Yes, sir. Have we talked before? We have never talked before. How is the experience of being on the phone with me right now different or similar to what you pictured it would be? 
I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't know what to expect, my friends. But I've seen you, and I've been watching the past couple, two times. Tried to call in, just wanted to talk to you, see how life's going. How are you? You know, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Are you clicking a pen in the background? What was that? Are you clicking a pen in the background? No, I turned you up. I couldn't hear you. Have you ever been banned? I have been banned. What have you been banned from? I got banned from a bar in my city for about six months. What did you do? I got into a fight. Over what? Uh, I don't really know. I was, uh, outside with this lady friend. We were in a car, heard some commotion around the corner. So I hit the corner, because obviously there was a fight and I wanted to watch. And, uh, it was my roommate. So I pulled him out and then fought two guys. And it was all on camera. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know what the altercation was about. I was outside with a lady friend in a car doing some uh, activities. So how did? So then how did you get into? A, how do you not know what you got into a fight about? I don't know what they got into a fight about. I just seen it was my roommate. So then I ran up and started fighting with him. So you blindly went in to support your roommate who was in a fight? Yeah. Yeah, full-heartedly. Would you do that? Um, no, I would need context first. Uh, the context was he was in a fight. No, I would need further context. <laughs> At that time, I didn't need any further context. i seen a homie in need. Well, that's, you know, look, if that's the way you want to live your life, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you any differently. You know, those are your values, which is to protect your friend, which is, you know, look, you value protecting your friend more than you value knowledge of <laughs> the surrounding situation. And if I that's mean, the way that's, you want to live, then... People say, I, I believe mean, in the power. I'm going to start the church of further context. Okay, yeah. I think uh, I think I would look into that, seeing as I really don't know too much about it. Thank you, potent loud pack, for that, for that $5. You have a box of... I, I, sm I, sm I smuggled in a little box of geckos that I can give for you, Mr. Um, potent loud pack. Well, yeah, what'd you and, say uh, your name was? My name is David. David, let me ask you something. Yes. If you saw me out in the street. Yes. In a, in a, engaged in a brawl. Yes. How would you react? Lyle, I would come to fight right next to you. See, now I feel bad because I 100% would not do the same for you. Well, I 100% would hope that if you walked past me and I was in a brawl, you'd at least be impressed, you know? I would, al I would also need further context to be impressed. <laughs> That's fair. I would, And I would tell you about it. If you stuck around until after the fight, I would probably uh, smoke a cigarette and tell you about it. And then sure, maybe after, I could be impressed and, after the fact, but... Yeah, exactly, and then, but after the fact, if I told you the context, would you have helped me if the context was good enough for you? Of course, if the context... Well, actually, probably even then I wouldn't, because I'm terrified of, com of uh, you know, physical confrontations. <laughs> I mean, I'd help. I'd have your back, either way. If you were randomly, if I randomly seen you, anywhere and anywhere... I would have your back. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, David. You're welcome. Um, 
I love you very much. I'll talk to you again soon. I appreciate, you know, you giving me the knowledge that I, I can be safe with you around. Thank you. I love you too. You'll be here. Have a good night. Me. You Absolutely. too, buddy. Bye. Oh, you were in both the... T you were both in... Paridot, you were in the Twitch chat that I got banned from, as well as the TikTok live I got banned from? Wow. Call from... John. Tick. John. Hello? John. 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 John? Hey. Jack? Hey, what's up? Is that you? Uh, no, it's Josh. Josh. Is this the gecko guy? Yeah. Hey. Sorry, I had to hey. my uh, computer because I didn't want the feedback. So about being banned. Yeah. What have you have you ever have you ever been banned? Um. So this is probably back like ten years ago, but. You know, back I'm a I'm a hipster piece of shit, man. So I was playing Minecraft way before it was available to anyone in Alpha. I got this guy's friend code, and I was on his server. Um, he made me admin, and then I just turned everything into dynamite and exploded and crashed the server. I can no longer talk to that guy anymore. And and you got put in real jail for this? Oh, I mean, not real ass jail, but you know, uh, uh, Minecraft jail, whatever the hell that is. Now, what compelled you to blow up this man's Minecraft server? You know, power. I got drunk with power. I was, mm. you know, eighteen at the time. I think I don't. I don't. Um, and it was just. It was the. When you feel power surging in your fingertips to just create bombs at will and, you know, there's no repercussions in a, you know, sandbox, why not? You know, I'm actually glad to hear that you're getting out these impulses in, in you know, virtual realms. What? Because I can well, tell that it, you have I, impulses within you to, you know, create destruction. Well, that, as a kid, you know, uh, I'm 10 years older, 10 years wiser now, and you know, your brain soup fully solidifies at, you know, 26-ish, I think is what scientists are saying. So impulse control, way better than it was uh, when I was playing Minecraft. Have you done anything impulsive b between now and then? Uh, I mean... I've probably done something impulsive between this morning and now. Okay, um, what did you do impulsive between this morning and now? Uh, I mean, it's it's much lower stakes these days. I made ramen after dinner when I shouldn't have. That is much lower stakes. <laughs> but, like, I put an egg on actually, the ramen. Actually, no, that's about... And... Uh, that is actually, now that I think about it... In the grand scheme of things, that's about equal stakes to blowing up a Minecraft server. But, yeah, fair. I guess I'm a boring guy. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah, fair enough. What'd you say your name was? Josh. Well, Josh, thanks for, um, thanks for sharing. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I hope that you get out of city jail. I, you know what? I hope I get out of Titty Jail, too. <laughs> Take care, boss. Take care, brother. I love you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, I love you, too. Bye. That was cute. I didn't know Josh could be cute. We, we went the whole con we went this whole conversation without knowing that he was cute. And then he showed us at the very end. Call from Max. Max. What's going on? You know, I'm just I'm just here. 
And I'm trying to, I'm, I'm talking, I'm just here. And I'm banned, and I'm in prison. And, and what the worst part is? Mm. What'd you say, what'd you say your name was? Max. Max. You know what the worst part is, Max? What is it? Is I have no one to blame but myself. I've been there. Tell me about, tell me about the time you've been there. So, this is 10 years ago. I'm 30 now. This is back when I was 1920. Uh, but I got a parking ticket and I live in Michigan. So, uh, if you don't pay your parking tickets, uh, back when, uh, we had two governors go, they instilled some kind of law where you don't pay your parking tickets. They automatically suspend your license. And so I didn't know that. And then I forgot to pay the parking ticket. They suspended my license. I got caught driving under suspended license. And then they let me go the first time. Well, I was kind of a low life at that time. Didn't have much money. And I didn't pay that ticket either. And two times passed. Another time they caught me. And then somehow I avoided going to jail then. I to get caught with a friend selling uh, two ounces of weed to somebody at a bread house. And uh, they caught him driving my car. Consequently, I was in the car. They were like, hey, we've been looking for you for a while, so you're going to jail. And uh, ended up in jail for parking tickets over the weekend. Went out on Friday. Of course, I have to wait over the weekend to see the judge. And the uh, judge says, well, you can get out, but it's 500 bucks, or you can spend four more days in jail and time served. I said, well, four more days in jail. And... Yeah, that's my experience of uh, my law. And then uh, I got a DWI for marijuana, even though I wasn't high. Don't ever admit in Michigan to driving. Uh, after a party two days ago, and that, you know, having some weed in the car, my buddy had some weed in the car. We hadn't smoked. We were on our way to some chick's house to smoke. And, uh, yeah, consequently, don't admit to ever smoking weed a couple of days prior or whatever, because uh, he'll still take you to jail. Why did Why did you admit to being high if you weren't high? Uh, no, I didn't say I was high at the time. He asked me when's the last time I smoked weed, and I said I hadn't smoked weed for a couple of days. And he's like, a couple of days or like, uh, you know, like a week. I said, well, a couple of days because it was a day after New Year's, and. That was dumb on my part, of course. And you got, uh, you got arrested for being high two days ago. Correct. They tested my blood, and because in Michigan they have some kind of legal thing, and I hired a lawyer and everything, and it was absolutely ridiculous. And they said it was going to cost me three grand to go to trial over it. Oh, and uh, yeah, so I got after on that and ended up with a DWI on my record, but. None of the employers give a shit. Like, nobody's ever... Look they all look at me like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's insane. Well, do you do you have to explain that you weren't actually high while you were driving? Yeah, or did yeah I, ex I have a, actually a whole freaking uh, one-page, like, explanatory about it. Uh, just for that reason. Because it can is we, on my we, record. Can we hear it? Uh, God. Uh... I don't, I'd have to look on my computer because it's been a while since I've had to actually use it because most employers, when they pull up my record nowadays, it doesn't even come up. So, see if I can find it. Yeah. It'd take me a minute, man. I don't want to waste. Now we time. can wait. All right, give me one second. I'll read the chat. We're, we're, we're pretty good at talking amongst ourselves. We'll, we'll... I think legally he could have just said, no, I don't smoke weed and I refuse to take a blood test. You have no probable sauce to assume I'm high. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Trust me. I, I have law nowadays and I, I fully understand. And what was crazy is afterwards, uh, they literally uh, allowed me to smoke weed on probation because I got a medical marijuana card the very next day. I went to a doctor the very next day, said my back ached, and they were like, here's a card, kid. And... I got a medical card, 
walked into court and the judge was like, or the, my probation officer was like, well, how do I know you're not going to drive while high again? I said, well, I wasn't high in the first place. And now I know in the medical laws and I have a card. So therefore I shouldn't be getting in trouble with the law anymore. And my, I worked for a veterinary clinic at that point, And the dude, uh, my, the vet was really cool with me at that time and wrote a whole like long letter about how I was an essential worker at his place that was a necessary asset and needed to be drive, uh, able to drive at all times, which basically saved me from getting my license suspended. And I just had to drive under like a temporary license. And, uh, like, uh, that veterinarian saved my ass because, uh, it was really unconsequential. This whole thing, I had this whole long, uh, oh, you know what, dude, I just remembered that this is a new computer. I don't even know if I'm, I hope to God I can find it. I really want to read it. By the way, I found you today. Oh shit! No, you're cool. That actually, you uh, you finding this is giving me a chance to uh, ban someone from the chat who's being really annoying. So I okay, that. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I found you on like. He TikTok. should call in. And and I with and the I story did. of how I just banned him. Uh, he should. If he can see this, I want I want him to call in and tell and just recount me banning him just now, as his story. I'm sorry. What did you say? I was doing. I, I no, you're fine, man. Um, I was just saying that today is like the very first day I found you. I saw a TikTok of you and a couple of your di different TikToks that are just like fascinating, and I was just like, man, this is interesting. So I looked you up on YouTube, and here you are, man. Like hell yeah, dude. Wow. I'm 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 glad. I'm glad that you know. You and know, I got I've like the this... worst news of all time today too. So like it, you know, it's 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 crazy. What was the news? Uh, uh my grandfather who is 82 and I mean it's something that we've kind of yeah, known yeah, coming yeah, for a long you don't time. You have to talk about it if you don't want to talk about it, by the way. I know but, I just kind of string yeah. you up on that, you know. You don't you know. Yeah, no, you're fine. Yeah, 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 we won't. But anyways, but whatever it is, so I, uh, I cannot find the word, but maybe I'll call in another time when I actually do have the uh, word document because I'm I'm sure I got it saved somewhere. Well, but um, we'll be here. Yeah, dude. So thanks a lot right, for Max. talking with me, man. Absolutely, man. Take care, man. Have a good one. I hope you feel better. Yep. You too. Bye. That Florida kid, I know he's still watching. I know he logged out and came back to the stream. Call from Liam. Oh, thanks a lot. To accept press. That Florida kid, I know he's still watching. Yeah, that Florida guy, he, I need him to call in and, tell, and just say, just be like, yeah, this one time I was watching your, this one time five minutes ago, I was watching your stream and you banned me. And I'll be like, interesting, tell me more about that. Hello? Oh, hello, Leanne. Hello, Lyle. So, um, I mean, what are you doing right now? I'm just sitting here watching your stream. I want to talk about how you banned me from your stream before with your words. I didn't, but, well, I, you called and then I hung up on you. And I, and you know what? That is a form of a ban. Sure, I banned yes, you. Is from talking to me in that instance. So sure, you can talk about that. Well, I was just, I was just talking about my traumatic experience of getting hit by a car and you, you hung up on me. So it was pretty traumatic also. And the chat hated me. So they also banned me. <laughs> You got hit by a car? You know I got hit by a car. Why would it, why would it, why? That's your mis you're making a mistake right now, Leanne. How am I, how am I making a mistake? Because you're making assumptions. That I know who has and has not gotten hit by cars. Right, I'm so sorry. So, so I was at a concert and my Uber hit me. 
Oh, yes. Now I remember. Yeah, you got hit by a car. Yes. I did. And I ban- and- and, um... And you tried to call in twice, and I didn't pick up the second time. Yes, that's right. And you never apologized. I was very hurt. Yeah, getting banned hurts. I- I, I know the feeling. How so? Because I got banned. Oh, right. Hence the jail cell. I just realized. Taking a long pause. This isn't a pause. This is... We're... The, these are not... Pa these are not pauses. The play I button is... That. The play button is always hit. These are parts of the conversation. We're not pausing the dialogue, all right? This, it's, we're hitting play. This is part of it. This is not a pause in our conversation. This silence is a part of the conversation. It's not a okay. pause. It's a play through. I always wanted to don't, ask No, don't be that. sorry. I'm not mad at you. I just wanted to clarify. Okay. I know, yeah. I've, I've always just been, like, confused why you just have, like, these 30-second pauses in your conversation. There goes another one. Mm-hmm. What's... Do you have anything else that you've gotten banned from? Mm, I've gotten banned from Wanadu City. From what city? Wanadu City. Oh, right. It's like a Florida thing. So, you, like... It's basically, like... It's like a place where when you're, like, a kid, they, like, pretend that you have jobs. So I was, like, nine when I got banned from there. Oh, oh, you say biz town? Oh, it's sort of like biz town, but it's, like, less Okay, educational. you got banned from J.A. Biz Town. No, I got banned from Wanadu City, something like J.A. Biz Town. For what did you do? What crimes did you uh, commit? I went on the skateboard in the modeling show and they told me not to. They told you not to before you did it or after you did it? They told me before. This is why you get banned. But I was just a kid. You can ban kids. Kids get banned all the time. Actually, that's kind of part of part of being a kid. I I feel like you get banned the most when you're a kid. Getting spanked is a ban. A timeout. Timeout is literally a ban. That's when you go through your most banning is when you're a child. Oh, they I've ban, been they ban. They ban. They they ban their rules into your head. They control you with their bans. They, they mold you. You were raised by your bans. So spanking, spanking is a ban. Is what a ban? Spanking, getting spanked. Thinking, is thinking a ban? Spanking. Yes, yeah, spanking is a ban. It's a physical ban. Have you ever been banned in that form? Yes. By who? When I was a child. By when I was a child. Oh right. By my father. Sorry. Oh. Oh it's no. It's the banning. It's the banning of the absence of physical pain on your ass. Right. Well, Leanne, look. I appreciate yeah. you coming back. I hope that this I hope this call was redemptive for you. Mm, the chat still hates me. Don't don't worry about the chat. Don't look you at the chat. Me? Don't let it doesn't matter if the chat doesn't like you. It doesn't matter yeah, if right. I like you. Yeah. It doesn't matter, Leanne. Yeah. You gotta hold- I want you to hold true from yourself, and I'll, I want you to stop getting hit by cars. And climb on skateboards. It's happened too many times. Well, that's your fault. Pretty much. I mean, I'm not driving the car, but... We all have our own opinion. No, I meant the skateboard thing was your fault. I don't know if the car thing was your fault. Probably wasn't, but... Well, they shouldn't have a skateboard if they don't want you to ride it. All right, Leanne. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye, Lyle. I love you, buddy. I love you, too.
People did tell Caroline to die over wet socks, and you know what? She took it in stride. Because she's a she's a warrior. Call from Connor. 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 Yo. Mm -hmm. Connor, can I take a sip of water real quick, or will you will you will you wait for me? Will you get offended? Am I wasting your time? No. Be no. With no. Me. Go ahead, man. All right. Thank you. They they let me have water here if I'm good. Yeah, I was going to ask you how you were doing in there. You know, I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking. I thought I heard that I mean, look, it's... Too well. They don't. Because they don't care. And I'm with a bunch of other people who got banned. Who else is in there? Have you ever been banned, Connor? I have. What have you been banned from? Civilization. How did you get banned? Were you? How did you get banned from Civilization? I was sent to juvenile detention. Hold on. You were sent to juvenile detention. Yeah. What for? Uh, I don't want to talk about it, but I can tell you what went on there. Sure. Um, well, honestly, it's pretty fucking boring. But, uh, let's see. So, it's like split up into two sections. So, you got the blue block and the green block. And you just kind of in your cell there's some there's some uh sorry man i'm kind of fucking taken aback i've been trying to call for like the past few weeks oh you're good you look you look lee you know what you know what i think what happened is you might have heard leanne and look respect to leanne she voiced her opinion it was an unpopular one that took a that took some courage leanne i i, I I'll, I'll 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 see you on that but you know you might have heard her talking about you know, perhaps antagonizing silences. And I don't want that idea in your head that, you know, I want I want you to have enough space to say no, what like you need silences. to say, Connor. Silences are the best part. So let me think here. Um, well, um, let's see. So let's, talk, let's tell a story about, so when it's time for court, all right? They'll they'll call you in your cell. They'll they have like a little intercom that they'll call you in, and uh, officer comes to take you from your cell. They take you to the um, processing area, and um, they'll like handcuff you, put you in shackles. And I was like 15 at this time, and uh, and then they'll take you to this elevator. You have to stand facing the wall of the elevator take you up to court and you're in like a little holding cell with all the other people that have court on the same day and uh yeah it's 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 actually pretty it's pretty crazy man like i mean it was just juvie but i mean as a kid i was kind of fucked up that is kind of fucked up do, do you still um is that are those feelings still close to you, or or are they pretty far in the past? No, yeah, I'm past it. How old are you now? Twenty. What are you doing now? School, work, hanging out, talking to you. So you said there's a. You started out by making Juvenile Hall sound a little bit like Kindergarten Color War, where they have, like, the blue team and the red team. Yeah. 
Well, they, they keep you separate because, um, like, obviously, like, there's certain people that you want to keep separate from each other. Hold and, on, real quick. A, go ahead. Oh, wait, wait. I, hold on. Oh, okay, real, real quick. Uh, yeah, don't, 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 don't be, don't be mean to Leanne in the chat. Don't, 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 don't be mean to Leanne in the chat. All right, what, what were you saying? So, like, there was, like, the green block. Like, I don't want to, like, it's juvie at the end of the day, but, like, um, where I was, there's, like, uh, there's, like, gangs and shit. So, they would keep the blue and green, like, rival gangs from each other. And there was a, uh, there's, there's a um, female block there as well. But I, I was in there over uh, Christmas and New Year's, so. So what was Christmas in Juvenile Hall like? Um, actually, I have a funny story. So all the guys, apparently it's a thing. Some of the guys that were there, I was only there for a month. And some of the guys that were there had been there for a few years. And apparently it's a thing on Christmas to uh, flood your fucking toilet and have all the water come out of your, out of your cell. Like as a celebratory thing? I suppose. Is it is this uh, sanctioned by the No, definitely not. People would get pulled out. Um, like they would try the um, the uh prisoners, if you will, would uh like try to block the door so they couldn't come in. And uh so like in my block it was like a it was like a two story. So like I was on the bottom floor and the people were at the top floor. All right, and the people on the top floor, like it, there was like a little railing, like a, it was like a solid floor, and it would the water would flow off, off of that top railing, down in front of my cell door, like a, a shit waterfall, if if you will. Jesus Christ! <laughs> but I, um, like I said, I was trying to call from for a few weeks. Uh, for a few weeks now and I had another story in mind um, I feel like I still I want to hear the second story because I was very intrigued by the first story and now I'm intrigued by the second but my I, 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 feel, I, I, I feel like I still haven't resolved how did this tradition begin is there a story behind this or is it just pure chaos as to why they intentionally flood toilets uh, what I mean I had I'm just as clueless as you are I mean I thought it was funny but uh, I didn't know. I didn't know if it was a. I don't know how it started. What's the second one? What'd you say? I said, "What's the second one?" Okay, so I also worked. Um, so in high school, I did like this career program where I could um, like go off the high school campus and. Um, like do a there was like a career choices for like welding, auto service, um, nursing assistant, computer engineering, and I just I, I thought I was going to be a nurse um, coming out of high school. Um, so I took the CNA class and finished the class, no big deal. Um, and I went to work at a hospital. All right. Um, so I was on the surgical floor of a hospital, um, like a brand new CNA, and this this is this story happened the first week I was there so imagine um, actually let me start off by saying so yes it was a surgical floor but it was also an overflow floor so what that means is if there isn't beds available in behavioral health or like whatever whatever you what other whatever any other floor like there's no beds available they would send them to our floor and so this one you know what, actually, hold on. So imagine a hallway that's like a T shape. So there's a long yes. straight. Yeah. And then in the middle of that straight is um, a T off to the other side of the building, which was, uh, was the ortho side. And so I'm sitting on the long, the long hallway straight. I'm on one side. I'm at a computer, like doing some charting. I, start, I hear a commotion coming from the other side of the hallway. So I lean over and I see a naked man standing in the hallway and 
he proceeds to punch a hole in the glass that holds the fire extinguisher in the wall, pulls the fire extinguisher out of the wall, and inserts it into his rectum and pulls the trigger. And what did you do then? Called for a nurse. He had to be taken down to the ER. What happened to him? I honestly don't know. I would assume some pretty serious damage to his in insides. Do you, do you think that that might feel good? I wouldn't be too sure. I've never tried it. It probably wouldn't. It would probably feel very invasive. I'm not too sure he even felt it at all. I mean, the pressure on those things. Yeah. It's like a, yeah. it's like, sh a, it's like shooting a gun. Yeah. Damn. But I mean, working disease? working at a hospital, I have, I have a few other stories if you want to hear them too. One sec. Yeah, we can do one more. All right. So, um, I mean, also going back to the prisoner thing. So, um, we got a few prisoners in the hospital here and there, and. Um, um, I mean, I don't know if you, you've ever heard of this, but, like, prisoners will, like, almost do anything to get out of prison. Most of the time, they do shit to get out of the... to go to the hospital, because um, they'll probably be out for, like, a week. And um, this one guy came in, and uh, he swallowed stuff. He swallowed shower hooks, and uh, they had to do a surgery on him. And uh, just keep this in mind that he had a huge... a, a um, he was stitched up straight down the middle. And uh, so just keep that in mind for later, all right? And uh, so a prisoner in a hospital, what that looks like is you're shackled to the bed and handcuffed in the bed, but you have some slack on your handcuffs so you can, like, eat, drink, read a book, whatever. So... Um, um, where was I? What did I say? You said a, a man swallowed hooks. Okay, okay. Uh, so he's shackled to the bed, all right? And he has some slack in his uh, handcuffs. And, like, there's guards. There's, like, three or four guards in the room at, at one time. And uh, I didn't personally see this. But I believe 100% that it happened. So this guy swallowed shower hooks. Big... Um, um, incision down the middle of his chest, all right, and he allegedly ripped himself open and fondled with his insides. He he, what his insides? He fondled with his, his insides. He stuck his hand in there, was grabbing around. Did he come? Like I said, I wasn't there. It's very possible. I guess you would, like, cum blood or something. Maybe he'd come to shower hook. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, no, that was, he fondled his, his, like, he fondled which of it, what of his body, what of his parts? 
I would assume is intestines. That'd be the first thing that'd be there. Someone wants to know if, and I don't know if you would know this, but someone wants to know if it was a sexual thing. I think it, I don't think it was a sexual thing. I think it was an attention thing. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that's why he was there in the first place. That's why prisoners do the things they do so they can get out. Like, they almost, like, people serving big time will do anything to get out, even if it's for a week, even if they have to sh swallow shower hooks. He couldn't have just coughed? <laughs> this was a few years ago. That, that didn't mean shit. Uh, that guy... Where was coronavirus when that guy needed it? I'm sure it got him now. Well, geez. What'd you say your name was? Connor. Well, Connor, you've sufficiently disturbed me. Um, I appreciate the fact that you came up here and um, successfully pulled emotional responses from both me as well as the chat. Because, you know, that's what the stream is all about. It's about eliciting emotions, uh, however pleasant or unpleasant they may be. And, you know, you did a good mm -hmm. job of that. I appreciate that. Um, I appreciate you coming in here and sharing these, these personal stories with us. And um, I hope that you're sufficiently reformed. I hope that uh, you continue down this path of glory. Thank you. Absolutely. I love you, Connor. Love you too, Gek. Take care. You too. I'm going to close the line real quick. That was a lot. I, 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 can we, I think we, I think it's okay if we take a second. This is a good, this is, there is a lot of stuff right there. It's 11, it's, it's 11, 18. Of course it turns you on, Ghouly the Grunge Kid. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably make that one a TikTok. Although it might get... banned. It's a pleasure to talk to you as well, David Hoff. One time, a homeless man in New York asked if he could jizz on the dimples on my face. It's a loaded question. Ha! I, I didn't even I didn't even do that on purpose. Get it a loaded question. No stupid. All right. Whoever said a compilation of the most fucked up moments. It's a good idea. Message restricted. What did you say, Dream Man? Gek, do you give relationship advice? I can. I can give relationship advice about as well as any other person. Wait, what did Dream Man say? I, I, I have to know. Are you switching to Twitch tonight when you get unbanned? Probably not. Oh, hey, what's up, Melissa? Um, but let me know. I probably can't solve your divorce. I, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to say I probably can't solve your divorce. I, I can't solve your divorce. 
If I could, then you didn't have a strong marriage in the first place. If it's if it's that flimsy enough that I could solve it. I'm glad that I can't solve your divorce because that would be bad for you if I could. That would mean that your marriage um, was it was not strong enough. If it if it was so if the bar was low enough that I could solve it. So that's a good thing. Oh, the talc girl? I'll tell you what. If the talc girl says talc again, then yeah, I'll all ban her. Well, I'll time her out. Unless she can hook me with some fucking... Something about talc. Gek, if I sent you an invite to my wedding in Texas, would you go? It depends on who else is going to be there. All right. When do you th call from to accept press? The only reason why you would refuse, and here's the only reason you wouldn't Whoa. give us a name. The, the, the only reason you wouldn't give us a name. Wait, what happened? Oh no! What happened is you called in. Is this Willow? I thought I said something. Oops. Is this Willow? I recognize his voice. Yup. <laughs> I How called in the other time. And then yes, got scared. Yes, you called in. Yeah. But you were scared. Are you scared now? No, nah, I'm better now. Why were you scared last time? You what is talk? What is talk? It's triggering me. Talk? Okay. Oh, is it me? Is this, it because this, this country? This is, this, is, this, is the make, this is the makeup that I put on every day. As I, as uh -huh, I, uh -huh. as I come on the stream in this persona uh -huh. i don't mm -hmm. wake up like this oh. I, I i you know look spend spend a lot of time and a lot of money on high-end products oh products i spent a good amount of time on amazon the other day getting brushes and you know mm -hmm. look i was reading out the main ingredient of this was talc and then people on twitch were telling me that i'm gonna die of cancer because of all the talc that i'm using uh you might Kind of bad for you, isn't it? I don't even know what it is. You know, what else is bad for me is everything else that I do. Oh my gosh! Yesterday I was painting oil paint and it smelled so bad. I thought I was gonna die and then I started coughing. Have you ever gotten banned, Willow? Yeah, several times. From what? What did you get banned um, from? Video, video games. They they banned me and then I can't play them for like a week. Yeah. Girls get cancer for you? putting it on their vagina, so then I just won't put it on my vagina. Wait, what? Um, oh, why did you say that? I was reading. I'm reading the chat. Why would you read that though out of the chat? Because it stuck out to me. You okay, see, it okay. stuck out to you. It stuck out to you too when I said it. I guess. That's why you reacted like that. I reacted like that too when I read it. Mm. Why did you get banned from video games? Um. I was throwing. I was intentionally losing the game. Yeah. What was what was the game? Overwatch. Eden Martin's dad says that I can use talc, and I'm gonna trust her dad. Um, talc. It just sounds like you're saying talc in a country accent. Talc. So you were talc. throwing games of Overwatch. And yep. You got banned from playing it. Mm-hmm. So you got banned for being bad. No. You got banned for being bad on purpose. Yes. Are you good? Yes. Very much so. Like how good? Like top 500. You're, you're a top 500 Overwatch player. NA. Yeah, I quit. I play that right now. Why'd you quit? For reasons. Why... Did you throw games of Overwatch? What was in it for you? Um, um, 
Mm, I don't know. I, think I got mad or upset, and then I was just there. And then I felt better. Who? So who, the game can ban you for throwing? Yeah, it was competitive. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Why can't you just say you were bad? Oh, okay. I'm bad. There we go. I mean, That's all you had to do. Yeah. Give this, get, let this man play again and suck. Yeah, I mean, they let you play again. It's just a while. Yeah. How are we, uh, how, uh, did, did we, oh, did we get an update on it? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'll hold on. I'm oh, sorry. Someone said furry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't. Someone's, never mind. Someone said, someone said furry. Yeah, I almost died inside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 don't be sorry. Don't apologize. This is it. This was part of a predetermined conversation that we were going to have anyway. You think people think that about me? That's like an insult, kind of. Do, pe do people think what about you? That you're a furry? Yeah. Um, wait, now, now I feel bad for saying that. I kind of don't. Now, why would someone typing in this chat saying furry question mark be referring to you? I don't know. I think... You know what, you know what I'm kind of starting to think now, Willow? What? Cause look, if you're on the phone with a man dressed up as a as a as a cartoon, and then you see in the chat someone says furry x question mark, and you think that they're talking to you, I think you might be insecure about being a furry. Um, I don't think so. Um, are you in? Well, technically, you are. You're Skelly. Did you know that? What is that a real thing? A skelly? A I don't know. I don't know. Can someone look that up? A froggy? What is a furry? a furry? Is a furry okay? But is a furry just someone? If a, okay, because if a furry is just someone who dresses up like an animal, then fucking kids getting their face painted oh, at carnivals are furries. Stop. I'm getting on What do you mean stop? Uh, stop. Uh, that's, if that's what the definition the is, then that's what change it is. But no, I don't no, think no, that's no. what the change definition it, change is. Change it, change it, change it. I can't, I can't. No, this is now. No, now we have to talk about this. No, no, no. I'm sweating. I'm like literally sweating. Why are you sweating, Willow? Why are you having? Comfortable. Bro, people, people are saying I can't, I can't. Don't read the, don't read yeah. the chat. Don't read the chat, Willow. I'm making that a rule. Don't read the chat. I'm reading it. I can't. Don't read the chat, Willow. Willow, I'll move, okay, I will, okay. I'll move on if you move the chat. I'll, I'll, I'll move on okay, if you read okay, the chat. Okay. I won't read the okay. chat either. Okay. Actually, I'll read the chat a little bit, but... Why, are you nervous right now? Are you yeah. upset? Why are you nervous? No. Nah. Oh, is my mic better? I plugged in my snowball. Does it sound better? A little bit. Oh, 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 I got my hair highlighted today for the first time. Wow, what color? And it looks nice. It's like highlighted, it's like blonde, I guess. It's like bleached. That's cool. Yeah. Why don't you want to talk about furries? Oh my god. Um. Hey, by the way, if you, look, is, is this a serious thing? If it's a serious thing, I'll leave you alone. No, I just knew someone, and it's like really cringe. Like really cringe, and it makes me like cringe and like gag. Yeah. So it's you knew someone who was a furry. But uh, you know, can't. But is it? Bro, someone said talking it... chat. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, do... I, I got distracted. I don't know if I can do this, Willow. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can can you do like words like accent words for you and your um new philly not new philly always in sunny philadelphia accent please i here's my thing is anyone look how can if you're in the chat right now you're saying that furries are cringe you're watching i mean look i'm not a furry i don't identify as a furry so i don't know anything about the furry community you're doing it Ironically, so it's okay. Does that make I sense? I don't even... Like it's, like it's ironic, so it's funny. You know? When, when... Here's what I will say. If, if... 
if 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 the Gek Nation has not abandoned me by the time that we have a vaccine and I can go to I will I will film a video where I just go to a furry concert a furry convention and talk to people. Um, I would. Are are you? Mm, you're making me question so many things, but what what, what okay. am I making you question? This question like. Never mind. I don't even want to go there. It's okay. I don't even want to go there. I'm so I'm so curious right now. But, but look, by the yeah, way, if it's, it's a serious th look, if it's a serious thing, we don't have to talk it's about not, it. But if I it's mean, just it that you're cringing, be. if it's just that you're cringing, I want to talk about it. I'm just cringing, but it can be a serious thing. All right, what's the thing that you don't want to talk about? I don't know. Um, it's a bug. All right, well, what type of bug? It's an invisible bug. Oh, also, I should I keep on? Should I not call? Should I not like? I feel like I'm hogging all the time, but then I'm like, I want to call. No, you're fine, dude. I think this okay. was. You know what? This was. Well, we were so close, Willow. Uh huh. Well, I want to know what's beneath you right now. Uh, but you're being you're not you're not giving us what 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 you're not giving me you're not giving me the goods right now which look you know look they're your goods i'm not entitled to your goods mm -hmm. but but i but i'm you know look there's some you've got something that we that we kind of want to know mm-hmm i don't even know I don't even know. I can't even think. There's like nothing to it, really. Like, what? What was it? I don't think we're gonna get anywhere. I'm kind of just. That's you know what? That's fair. That's I. You know what? I. You know what? I. You know what? Willow, thank you. Thank you for that. That was good. That was a. That was an admit. That was a. Straight and that was a straight answer right there. That was a full on admission. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll just admit. Okay, so I have like touched a fursuit and it's disturbing. Oh my god! Oh, I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't! How is it different from I from can't, fucking? I can't. How is it different from a fucking wool coat? Cut the vod. How is cut it the different vod. From a coke. Cut the vod. I can't. Oh my god! Ew. Yeah, someone said you exactly. Cut the vod. All right, all right, Cut Willow. I'll I'll, 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 I'll talk to you again soon, Willow. We're gonna okay. get to the bottom of this. You call in again. I want you to take Willow. I want you to take some time. Yeah. For yourself. To, mm -hmm. to calm down, and I want you to call back, and I want you to tell me what the heck is going on with you and furries. No, I don't think. But, ta but take some time, no. and you don't have to. You don't have to. But if you. But I want you to take some time for yourself and think about um, this. I think I just want to let you know if you mention furries, I will hang up immediately. Like no hesitation, click over. So that that's I told fine you, I told you, me. yeah, done. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. I love you, Will. I'll talk to you soon. Oh my god. Love you too. That was way weirder than any furry thing I have seen on the computer. I'm closing the line for a second. I gotta... I gotta take it like a second. I agree. Breathe and reflect, Willow. Willow, the Willow, what what you hide, the shame that you hide will only grow. Willow. Why is the silence so loud? says J Troxel. Immaculate.
Willow, no, Willow, no one's accusing you of being a furry. I don't, I, I don't care if you're a furry. Doesn't matter to me. I'm not interested if you're a furry. I don't think you're a furry. I'm more interested at, I'm more interested in exploring your visceral reaction to the subject matter. That's what's interesting to me. I don't think that you're a furry though. I'm more curious why, why it just, why being, uh, why the the topic of furry is just lights you up the way it does. Ghoulie the grunge kid calling you a furry. It's all the same thing. It doesn't matter. You got banned for life from a mall store as a kid and later got a job there. So you weren't banned from life. Or I guess you were. <sighs> Alright. Hey, at midnight, can someone look at my Twitch channel and tell me if it's gone? I'm very- I'm so scared that my Twitch channel is- is... That I'm just banned forever. No, it's not where it's not there. It's it's not there yet. What did I do? Uh, go look at my um, my Instagram. I don't know. I don't know if it is. I, I'm just gonna check tomorrow. I'm not banned for life. I don't think I'm banned for life. Let me check. Hold on. Let me go check if I'm banned for life. All right, I'm not banned for life. Four zero one four seven two gek. Four zero one four seven two gek. Call from Danielle. To accept, press one to send a voicemail. Danielle. Hey, how's it going? You know, it's going okay. Thanks for asking. Same time. I honestly didn't think I'd make it this far. How far do you feel like you've made it? I mean, far enough to get on the stream. That's like an accomplishment, right? Do you feel accomplished? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I do. Then I want you to, then look, embrace that feeling. Thank you. Can I ask, can I ask you something, Danielle? Absolutely. I prepared. I was gonna do a segment where I broke out of jail, <laughs> and so I prepared. I prepared a, a, a really kind of tranquil forest background, that is <laughs> that is in that's that stands in stark contrast to this prison that I'm in. Okay. And look, so far the prison thing I think has been going well, but I do have. But I, I, and I want to be able to use the Tranquil Forest again. I want to be able to use it on Wednesday because I think it's a good background. Um, but I don't know right. if I don't know if using it right now will ruin it. What do you think? Should yeah. I should we go there? I don't know. I feel like I would maybe wait until we're sure that you're not banned for life. You know, just to kind of save it. But okay, word. Stream might well, I, I know I know that it's you know my decision, of course, but. I was just kind of looking for, you know. A... Yeah, sorry. Have you? Have you? It's. Well, are you? Are you not? You're not very decisive. Not usually. What's the last decision you made? To call in. Well, what prompted that decision? Okay, so my roommate really liked uh, your streams, and I told her I would embarrass the shit out of her by calling in and getting on. So job done. <laughs> Why is it embarrassing for her that you called in? I don't know. I've been telling her. Like, I haven't said anything bad. What could you possibly say that would embarrass her? Oh, I got you. 
I got you. Okay, so you actually replied to us, and I really appreciate that. The last stream, she was <laughs> she was blackout drunk on the floor, crying <laughs> because she got banned. Oh, you're um, you're Katie's roommate. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. No, I remember that. I I listened to that. I listened. To, I was feeling kind of sad after I got banned. I listened to that voicemail. I'm like, oh, well, that was nice. So yeah. thank you for leaving that. Honestly, thanks for getting banned because that made my whole night. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> I agree. It was pretty funny. It was. I mean, I didn't see the nipple that Twitch saw, but whatever, I guess, right? I didn't see the nipple either. I think they made it up. It's a conspiracy. No, it's there. I looked at it again. Oh, you did find it? Yeah. That's Wait, so who's... Have I spoken to Katie before? No, but she's right here. She's cowering. Katie, get over here. I don't ha we don't have to talk, but... Oh, no, we, we got her. She's right here. Hi, I'm Katie. Hello, Katie. How are you? I'm good. That's good. So you were crying the other night. Yeah, well, so... <laughs> I had been drinking a little bit too much and Danny likes to play this game with me where she gets me to drink too much and then tries to make me cry and so already the night started with me being mentally unstable <laughs> and then we were watching your stream and then it just cut out all of a sudden and I started freaking out because it didn't exist anymore and I got on Instagram to see what was happening and the first thing I saw was that Chadwick Boseman had died <laughs> and so instantly like my mind flipped and I just thought that the whole world around me was dead and I had like this whole mental breakdown. It was a whole thing. But I'm good now. We're all good. Jeez. <laughs> this is not my proudest moment in life. I'm gonna admit to you. What, this moment right now? Or the moment when I you were drunk crying? Most moments of my life. <laughs> For being honest here. What is you've definitely you've got oh you've definitely got one pride moment of your life. Wait, hold on, I don't want to talk about that. I wanna I wanna know the methods that your roommate uses to try to make you cry. Uh it's <laughs> it's different every time. If we're being Okay, honest. what was it most recently? Uh, she was talking about how one day my pets are gonna die. Uh, she, she likes to bring my divorce up sometimes. It's just kind of, I'm just kind of here. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Every day it's something different, you know? And, um... Now, what's her like trump card? What is the number one thing that she brings up that make like if if all else fails, this will do the trick? I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. It depends on how I'm feeling. She's making a face, so maybe she knows something I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's her little laugh. I'm kind of scared. You got you gotta you gotta talk about how. <laughs> Usually something to do with her pets. We got a we got a house full of them, and her favorite is either her dog or the tortoise. And I pick one of them, and I tell her some fucked up way it's gonna die. <laughs> it works every time. Tortoises live for a pretty long time. Not unless you step on them. <laughs> He's supposed to live with me till I'm 60. Like, this tortoise is going to spend the rest of his life with me and probably the rest of my life with him. And then she says stuff like that. And <laughs> I don't know. It just... I don't know. It's rough. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know... We're making memories. How, how's your guys' uh, relationship with each other? Do you like each other? For the most part, yeah. For the most part. <laughs> <laughs> We've been best friends for, like... 10 years. How old are you? I'm 22. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like 10 years. Yeah. Something like that. We're homies. We're always there when we need each other. 
<laughs> Maybe not in the best ways, but we're there. <laughs> So what do you do? You ever try to make Danny cry? Not hard. Um, I try not to because I like to think I'm a good person. <laughs> she doesn't need to. <laughs> I cry about the stupidest stuff when I'm drunk. <laughs> What's the most recent thing that you've cried about? Me? Oh, oh, oh! I got you. Have you cried about I anything think- between now and? when you cried about the stream slash Chadwick Boseman which yeah anyway that was the last time that me Katie have cried I don't know about Danny though you guys sound kind of the same that's alright we're basically the same person one's just chaotic evil and one's chaotic neutral okay alright you had you had something queued up for me oh sorry this is Danny. The last time I cried, um, I was, guess what, drunk, and I was informed that the person I liked a lot was gay, and I was very sad because I'm not a man. How did... the? Okay, so you cried because the person that you liked turned out to be gay. Yeah, like, respect. I wasn't, like, mad or anything. I was just sad because, you know, at least if he were straight, there would have been, like, a a crumb of a chance. You know what I mean? But he's not even... Who is this person? How do you know them? Um, I worked with them. Oh. Because I feel like... If you had had enough of a relationship with them already for you to like them at a... for, For you to like them enough... If you like them to a certain point, you would probably, at that point, know whether or not they were gay. You know, you would have thought. <laughs> but <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> so I got drunk and cried about it. <laughs> you know, well, look, I'm going to be honest with both of you about what I actually think. The chat, I don't know if you guys are reading the chat. And if you're no, not, I'm then scared. good, don't read the chat. Yeah, don't 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 read don't read the chat. Never read the chat. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been glimpsing at it. <laughs> you know, you 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 two have fun, all right? You two have a good time. You seem like you're you know. <laughs> there's something there's something here that maybe we don't understand. I mean, yeah, probably. But I'm not gonna go ahead and give it any kind of label. So, I mean, what are you guys going to do after this? Keep watching the stream, of course. I'm probably going to go lay down for a little bit and reevaluate my life. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. Thanks. All right, Danny. All right, Katie. I love both of you very much. Thank you for the support. And um, enjoy your beautiful friendship with each other. And have a good rest of the Thanks. evening. You too. Bye. Good night. Call from Andres. Tick. Andres? Yo. <laughs> Hello, Andres. What's up? You know, not a lot. <laughs> I'm okay. Crazy. I mean, I'm in jail. Yeah. I'm in boob jail. It's true. Yeah. The rumors that. are true, Andre. I am in boob jail. Oh man, boob jail. Tell me about it. I, I agree. Just... It's. Sorry, I was about to get sent to ass jail. What's up? It's okay. Oh, man. These last few calls, they got me, they got me thinking. What do they got you thinking about? 
I don't know everything. <laughs> but uh, like what? Give me, give me one thing that you have thought about. Let me see here. Ugh. Oh man, let me tell you. Wait, can you give me like one second? Yeah. All right. I'm you know, Gek. Have we talked before? Uh, maybe we have another life, you know. I don't know. Something like that. But, uh, what was I was gonna say? Shit. What's up, Gek? You know, I'm alright. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Yeah, so I got banned before. How'd you get banned? It's a weird story, I guess, because I'm not sure how I got banned. Or I, I know how I got banned because I got banned, but I don't know why I got banned. You know. Okay. Do you? What did you? What? What? What did you get banned from? I got banned from a coffee shop where a bunch of like hipsters go, and they do like open mic, open mic nights. You know. Why'd you get banned? Um, well, it was like an open mic night, but except it was like poetry night instead of like, like you, instead of like open mic, you know what I mean? So like, you can't like do whatever you want. You have to like do poetry only. It was a poetry but, uh, open mic. Yes. Right. But my friend was like a rapper at the time. And so, or he still is a rapper, but so I figured, you know, rapping is a form of poetry. Am I right? Sure. So, oh, well, uh, oh yeah, also I play guitar, so I was playing guitar while he was rapping on stage for the poetry night, and the people were vibing, and then, oh, it was also like my first time meeting this guy there, and so we just figured out, like, why not, or whatever. So, we did that, and then the next day, I went back there. And the manager like came up to me and my friend and he was like really mad at us and like brought us outside and was like that shit you guys pulled off like it's it's not gonna fly around here and like he was like oh. and he was, like whoa we're sorry you know and then he was like and he was like oh, wait what was it and then he was just telling us like he doesn't want us ever coming back and then I was like all right I mean like. And then he like he told me he also had like footage of me in the back parking lot like doing like like selling illegal stuff, but that was completely false because at the time I was very broke and never had enough money to even do any of that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? You hear me, Gek? Yes. So. But he was telling me he had footage of me doing this stuff, and I was like, "Where is the footage?" And he was like, and then he he was he didn't really say anything. He just like told me to get the fuck out of there. So at the time, I just left because you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, there's no point of being there. There's just like, yeah, you know. You, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna agree. I'm I'm confused. I'm extremely confused right now. By what I'm you're confused. saying. You're confused. I'm confused. You're confused. I'm confused of why that happened to begin. With. Oh well, actually, let me tell you something else, Gek. The place there is ran by a bunch of people that are very close, tight, and like. I used to go there a lot, and I, I knew this one person that worked there. And I guess I, I didn't know he had uh, what they call Asperger's, right? But um, there was just one night I was on the back patio and these people were like just chilling and drawing in their book. And this lady was like drawing like a picture of an ass and like a picture of a burger. And then I was like telling her she should draw like 
the burger being the ass, so it's like an, like an ass burger, like a, as a joke, you know what I mean? But like I didn't know that the guy that worked there had ass burgers, and I guess he was there in the backpack. And he overheard me, and so maybe he like got mad and like told the manager like, "Oh, get this kid out of here!" Right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's up with you. I don't know what's up with, um... You said something about Asperger's, and then you said someone was drawing Asperger's, and then... You're... Talking to you sort of feels like... A nap dream. That's kind of how, I mean, yeah. I mean, because this is a while Are you high right now? How high are you right now? Are you high right now? (laughs) I don't, I don't, and I feel bad saying this because I don't appreciate when people ask me if I'm high, but I'm not high, and I actually, I think that you're high. You think I'm high? I think you're high. I'm, but I'm not. That's the difference. All right, all right, Gek. What, um, what was I gonna say? I forgot. You know, I smoked maybe like two days ago, prior to this. <laughs> so. By what is it by Missouri standards? Yeah, yeah, by the Missouri standards. What are you, what are you gonna You're say fucking about blazing that? right now. <laughs> yep. But uh, are you are you still banned? Or it's almost twelve. I don't know. I don't want to know if I'm banned. Someone wants to know if you're single. Single. Oh wait, I make music. I make music. Let me throw that out there. That would that would had nothing to do with anything that I asked you. But are you single? Are you single, Gek? Is there a Mrs. Gek? Huh? You know, sometimes all you've got is time. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, Gek. What'd you say your name was? Uh, my name is Andres. Andres? Yeah. Well, Andres? Oh, yeah, and my, my music is Los Roaches, motherfuckers. Do you run the Therapy Spider Instagram account? Hey, look, look, you know, we all got our own therapy animals, right? So, that could be me. All right, Las Roaches. All righty. I love you I more than so. more than I have the words to tell you. Oh, wow. I love you too, Gek. Take it easy, brother. You too. See you. See you later, man. Uh, oh, I'm still on. Uh, yeah, later. Have a good night. Have a good night. Therapy Roach is out, and I've been reading the chat all night, and it's going good. Nothing to be scared of around here. It's just a chat. Tell that to, uh, what's his name? The, the furry, the furry kid. Should put your Twitch and YouTube name on the top right in case someone clips part of your stream and posts it on the main page. That is how that's how I found you. What meme page? What what meme page, Languine? When is the PO box opening? I'm gonna open it this week. I don't. I'm trying to. I, here's what. I'm, before I open the PO, I'm trying to like gauge the interest in people sending me things. Although I feel like the interest in people sending me things would be higher if. I had the P.O. box. 
I, I do want people to send me things. It's fun. And I'll open them on stream. Laugh forever on Twitch. Gekka goes on an adventure to claim content. Huh. Okay, word. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll open that. I'll open it, um, I'll open it this week. It's not 18, it's not 18 plus two. Oh, you made me something, Eden. Okay, now I, if people are making me things, then yes, I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, op I'll, op I'll open the P.O. box. I'll open it this week. I'll let you guys all know in the Discord and, and all the stuff. And yeah, any, like, fan drawings I'll post on my IG. I do my little Gek art drops. Loud equals funny on Instagram. At Gek, can you send me stickers? You can, dude. 18 plus. Oh, yeah, I don't have I don't have problem with, like, like fucking teenagers watching the stream. I just don't want them to call in. All right. Gak, this makes me laugh and feel good while doing my homework. Thanks. Well, thank you, Odin. Schroner. Can you tell that to my parole officer? So I can get the heck out of here? Owen? But no, thank you. I appreciate that. Gak, do you want a ceramic piece? Hell yeah, dude. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll open the P.O. Hey, I called in a week about my boyfriend and talking to him about the future, and I did- Oh, I remember you, Emma. Emma. Okay. Good. I'm glad that you did that, Emma. I do remember that conversation. I'm glad that that went well. Oh, for sure. Oh, shit. Good to see you, Connor. It's on D&D. This is my first- Oh, Cole, this is your first time on the stream. Well, well welcome. This is- This is my first time- This is not my first time streaming on YouTube, but- the first time streaming the show. Actually, it's not even the first time streaming the show on YouTube, but. Anyway. It's midnight. Is my Twitch work? Does my Twitch work now? Can someone check if my Twitch works? I'm scared. I'm so scared it's not going to work. Can someone let me know if it's, if it is, is it live? Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check myself. I said I wouldn't check, but I like I, I I do like Twitch better. All right, it's not my Twitch is not is not there yet. Look. I'm patient. It'll it'll probably Yeah, my voicemail is incorrect. It'll probably um I found you like two weeks ago tripping acid and it was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Well, I'm happy I'm happy about that, Caleb. My grandma got banned from a trip after shitting. Good to have you. My grandpa got packed after shitting in her pants and throw away the underwear. That's interesting. Lyle, I am fucking smashed on scotch. That sounds fun. I hope you're enjoying that, Ryan. Time to start an OnlyFans. Gek, can you call? I want to... Uh, Alright, you know what? I got a Twitch notification that you were streaming earlier. I hope Twitch doesn't think I'm like... Trying to get around my ban or some shit. I was I was worried about that because I'm using Streamlabs. Anyway, the meme page cropped out the top right. Sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. Anyway, whatever. Who cares? All right. But thank you for letting me know. And thank you, Allie Davenport. That was that was very sweet of you. So, you're you're a good Allie. Did you, you get any good thrift hauls, Emma? You know, show us your hauls. All right. What is TTS? Four zero one four seven two Gek. Call in.
We'll wait. Oh, text to speech. Oh no, I'm no, I have no interest in doing that. The only re like if like here's the thing. If someone if like if that happened if a tech if someone gave a text to speech donation right now, then that'd be perfect because I'm just talking. But it's different if I'm talking to like I have problems all the time where like people donate money and they sub, which is freaking awesome and I'm, I'm really happy and i want to like uh thank them but i'm like talking to someone i gotta interrupt them call from henry but don't don't let that discourage you from you know from sending me a lot of money while i'm talking to someone feel free to oh send God. me a lot of money just at any time hi lyle hey what's up henry how you doing well, I knew pretty good. I didn't actually think you'd pick up. I didn't think I didn't think. I've I've thought nothing. I've I've gone into this with no expectations of what it would be like, and therefore you know, I didn't think that's the best thing you could do. Exactly. Because then you can you can never you can never be unsatisfied if your expectations are at the lowest they could possibly be. Hell Things yes, can Henry. only go up. Fuck yes. Yes, Henry, you understand. Henry understands the value of setting low expectations. Why would you ever want to tell anyone that... Why, why would I ever tell anyone that my stream is good? Why would I ever tell anyone that? Yeah, exactly. It, that, there, I would never tell anyone that the stream is good. I would only tell them that it's bad. Because then if they come in and, and they like it, it's, it blows up their expectations. Yeah, and then they keep coming back. They get addicted and I keep, to it. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. well, Henry. And then you start subscribing, and then you get addicted to the subscribers. Exactly. We're all. We're, that's what. It, that's what Twitch really is. It's just people getting addicted to each other. Yeah. Okay. Where do we go banned. when we die? Oh, oh, I like this. Actually, sorry, I'm a little. I'm a little bit. Of a nervous wreck. Hold on, tell me. I want. I'm actually. Hold on. Forget. Forget everything. Let's start from square one. Are you? Are you nervous right now? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Why are you? Uh, uh, tell me how you're feeling. A little, little bit better. I've breathed. I've relaxed. All right, we're fine. I'm ready. I'm ready too. Okay. So bands, right? Yes. Okay. So this was this was when I was a kid. I used to fence with like the swords, right? And there was a national tournament in Washington DC. And I, I got, I was able to go because I qualified. And I was doing terribly. I was losing every match. I had like eight matches in the morning. I was losing every match by like complete blowouts. All right. And there's this one kid after a match. I had put my, I had put my gear bag on a specific chair and I went to my match. I got killed. Again, and I came back. And wait, 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 what game is this again? This is this is fencing. You've never heard of fencing? Oh, fencing. Yes, fencing. Okay, I thought this was a video game. Okay, all right. What were you saying? Okay, okay. So I, I lose my match, and I come back, and I see that a child is sitting in my chair and has moved all of my uh, like gear and wires out of the chair and like. Two feet over to the right. So, in a fit of rage, because I had like anger management issues when I was younger, and uh, I had also lost the match, I just went up to him. I didn't even say a word. I just went up to him and just threw him out of the chair. I just pushed him onto the ground while his mom was standing there watching. 
Uh, okay, and then what happened next? Uh, well, nothing. I picked up my gear. I, I walked away. I went into the hallway and I started eating lunch. <laughs> Wait, nothing happened to you? Not, not initially, no. Well, oh, what do you mean? Well, not initially. Okay. Okay, so I was, I was in the I was in the hallway eating lunch, talking to my my brother and my coach, or his coach, my like half coach. And as I was sitting there, uh, one of the refs came over, walked up to me, and he said, "You can't, you know, attack other fencers outside, or you can't attack people in general." And then they kicked me out of the tournament. That was probably the, uh, the smart move of them. Yeah. Not the most interesting story. I feel kind of bad. You feel bad that you did it? You feel bad that you got I caught? Feel bad you feel that bad that you're was... telling it? Oh, oh, no. Not, no regrets. I have no regrets in life. No regrets in terms of what? In, in terms of what? No regrets for doing what? No regrets in terms of anything that I've done in the past. All my actions leading up to this moment, I, I see, I've looked at, I've reflected on, and I've realized, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly happy how I am. Okay, what's your life like now? I'd say it's pretty good. It's a little slow due to the pandemic. How has the pandemic slowed down your life? Uh, well, I, I no longer have school. I'm, I'm a senior in high school, by the way. Older. I am 18, but I'm 18. I'm 18. Don't worry. Uh, so I don't really go to school. It's online. Kind of stupid. And I don't swim anymore. I swim at four in the morning, like every day of the week. And I, I wasn't able to do that for two months. So I gained like five pounds fat. What? What'd you say your name was? How are you doing? My name is Henry. Henry? Do we know each yes. other? Uh, I know we do not. The way you called me Lyle reminds me of the way that you know people who know me call me Lyle. Oh. What 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 about it gave you that impression? Was it loving undertones? The level of sincerity hateful. there. Ah, I see. Someone said, I, to... I like this comment from Mariana. He sounds old for a senior. Uh, thank you. My teachers tell me I have a face for radio. Well, Henry, oh, I, I think, think you of course, of course. How did you feel about this? I thought this was a, I thought this was a blast for my first time, first stream. Beautiful. Was able to call Amazing. in. Amazing. Wait, this was the first time that you had. You, this is the first time you'd ever seen the stream. Yeah. Where'd you find it on TikTok? Let's do some marketing Actually, research here. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, I got you. I, I saw it on TikTok. Okay. What was the first video was you some, saw? It was something. It was something obscure, and I was just like, "This is a is a wacky guy." And then I saw you again. I was like, "All right, all right, I like the gimmick." So I go so to your we page. So we hit him twice. Yeah, yeah. I went to your page and I just scrolled through all your content. And I was like, "Wow, this seems like something I'd something I'd probably enjoy." Did you find out? Did you find out then that I was banned from Twitch? I did. I, I was in your your live stream earlier on TikTok. Oh, yeah. So I, w I was just waiting. The I think man the marketing to the head kick. Well, thanks. You know, I work with a lot of, um, you know, I do a lot of market analysis. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I'm sure you were able had access to high quality equipment before they threw you in that cell. Just a computer. It's still very advanced. You know, Lyle, <clears throat> if you had to go back in time and visit a past civilization, which civilization would you go to? Probably the first humans. Like the very first humans? Very first humans. Like still monkey or human? Hold on. One second. Yeah, I'll go to the humans. The Neanderthals. The Neanderthals. That's a pretty good choice. I feel like there's a lot of dangers. As a gecko, you might get eaten by a tiger. There's a lot of dangers. There's a lot of everything. There's a lot of stuff going on in life. But Henry, I, I, I think we did it here. I think, uh, I, think I think we, we accomplished it. it. Yep, you got me addicted. You're like ketamine. Beautiful. That's what I like to hear. I, I appreciate you that. coming here for the first time. I hope you have had a good time so far. I hope you continue to have a good time throughout the rest of the stream. And I'm happy to have you here, Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Well. Okay. Well, bye. I'll talk to you soon. I love you very much, Henry. I love you too. Good night. Henry! Henry! I'm talking Henry! Re, 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 re. I'm talking about Henry, baby! Neanderthals were not humans, but they had a common ancestor. The humans actually killed all of them. Who? Save it for school, my friend. Save it for freaking class. We're not here to get educated. We're here to get get, get educated. We're here to live and die by the by everything. Goodbye, Leanne. Don't get hit by a car. Spiff's voicemail. Alright. You can ejecucate on me. I don't know even know I don't know what that means. We're here to get cucked. We are here we're here to get a little cucked. It happens. Alright, hold on. All right, I'm still banned. Well, hey, what's up, Justin? Good to see you, dude. Four zero one four seven two Gek. Let me read some texts. If you want to text the line, maybe I'll read you a text. Text the line. If you have an interesting thing, if you can hook me in a sentence, I, I, if you can hook me in a sentence with your text, I, I, I consider calling you. Gek, much love, but for quality, you need a call screener. Been watching over the past 60 days, and the qual quality is quickly turning into the same demographics. I will finish reading this text after this call. Call from Marcel. To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Call from who? Hello? To accept, press 1. To send a Hello? Why, hello, Gek. How are you? I'm all right. I'm, I'm doing good. What are you? Who are, who are you? 
Oh, I'm Marcel. I've been watching your stream for probably two hours now. Okay, rock and roll. I'm happy to, that um that you're here. As am I. Are you doing a voice right now, or is that what you sound like? I guess that's my excited voice. That sounds too pornographic. <laughs> Tell me, is that chair you're sitting on comfortable? Yeah, why? I was just curious. Are you curious? Yes, I'm a very curious person. Hold on. Yes, I did get in. <laughs> All right. All right. So what's up, um, man? I do. Um. Okay. All right. Well, here we are. We're on the phone. And yes, we are you've got a voice, and I have a voice, too. And we're talking to each other. And, uh... I, I, what is this, and why is it on my recommendation? I don't know, Eliza. What do you want? What? 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 Why? You know what? I'm, Eliza, I'm upset with you, Eliza D. I'm really... I'm, I'm, I'm a little mad with you, Eliza D. I'm a little upset. Why? Eliza, maybe, maybe if you stuck around... You'd figure out what it was. I'm still trying to figure out what it is. Am I am I making sense here? Am I talking crazy? Everything uh, needs to be handed. Sense. Everything need, Eliza needs everything handed to her. She doesn't want to go out and seek it. She needs it to come to her. It's not the way to live, Eliza D. I'm not saying this because I'm upset with me. I'm saying this for your own benefit. Don't no, don't boo her. Don't boo her. That's not the point. I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad. I I, I love Eliza D. I'm a, I'm crazy about Eliza D. I'm I'm I want what's best for her. And what's best for her is to go is to seek it. Eliza D. All right. All right. All right what's your name again? What? I'm Marcia. Marcia. Yes. I can tell you about a couple times I've been banned. All right. Tell me about you getting banned. <laughs> All right. So when I was much younger, I used to play a game called Gaia Online. <laughs> and I would in intentionally scam people through the forums by making up a... While creating a website that would link people or deceive people into believing that if they gave me their username and password, they would get like coins, the virtual digital currency of that game. And I would get their login info, get on their account and steal all their stuff. And I do this for quite a while. I don't remember how long exactly, but eventually I was caught. And that was the first time I was banned off of a game. Not the only time. And wait, did you get actual money from this? Uh, you could argue that it's valuable to someone, but it wasn't real money. It was like digital items and currencies. That actually makes it a lot worse. You you know what what do you know what you <laughs> just said? Tell By me. the way, you could what say, here's say? what you what you just said was. No, there wasn't any monetary value in it. I just knew it was valuable to them, and so I wanted to take it to hurt them. Not even. Well, I if wanted one thing, it if too. you were, yeah, if one thing, if you like, if there were, because if there was monetary value to it, right? I would, I wouldn't under, I would still think it was bad, but at least I would understand your motivations. Your motivations, still bad, but they would have had, they would have made, they would have been less purely evil than to just troll people. My intentions were selfish and purely aesthetic. 
What do you mean aesthetic? Because the items were like fashion items, like stuff you could equip to your character, your profile, and make your own character look cooler. And at yeah, the time, I thought in, that was... All, yeah, but, the, but these accessories are covered in blood, Martha. <laughs> yeah, the name is Marcel. You cannot but wash the you about... shame off of your Gaia jewels. They're oh, no. permanently Definitely stained. Not. With dishonor. But, and I can tell you about how the universe paid me back, but let me explain. The second time yeah, I, I got like banned off actually. of the game... I would like to hear how the universe paid you back. Absolutely. So, this other time, this wasn't when the universe paid me back, by the way, but I had a... I was playing Roblox at the time and had, had an alternate account. was my main account. And I would use... Um, I think it was a cheat engine or some kind of program that allowed me to use exploits in the game and i would purposely just jump on different servers with a lot of people where you weren't necessarily allowed to have weapons or kill people and spawn weapons of destruction mass destruction rocket launchers explosives and just obliterate everything and everyone and <laughs> that was a lot of fun because people would be like oh he's a hacker he's destroying everything and i was like yeah this is very entertaining and I mean, the alt account was banned, but not my main account. So I, did, I just thought that was fun, overall. Not uh, the last. How, time when's, when's the la how recent? How recent is all this? Are you still out here trolling people? No, 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 dude. That was like. That was like. I want to say eight years ago. I thought you were gonna say ago. like eight years. I thought you were gonna say eight weeks ago or something like that. No, no, no. Okay, so let me ask you something. This. This, this, this griefing that's in you. Yeah, yeah. This desire to grief. Has it dissipated, or has it merely evolved into a different form? No, it's dissipated a lot. I don't have that same mentality. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm a much more loving, compassionate person now. Yeah? Yeah. Who do you love? I love myself. I, I love all people, honestly. I have a fascination for love. everyone. Yeah, I, I can imagine. But that wasn't the last time I was banned. I could tell you another story. You know what? I think I think I know enough about you. Worry, okay. Well, at least let me tell you how the universe paid me back. You see... Yeah. I was friends with a person on Roblox, and then he collaborated with me making some places, you know, that's, you know, that's what the game is about. And he actually scammed me at one point out of like hundreds of dollars worth of Roblox, because at this point, that's probably like 300, 400, 500, I don't even know, like hundreds of dollars worth of goods. And I trusted my account to him, or I gave him access to my account, and he just took it all. And I was very upset by this, and then I realized, wow, that all those people that I stole from, and I, I got that same medicine served to me, and it was very, I don't know, eye-opening. What's your take on that? I'm confused why there is such a thing as hundreds of dollars in virtual Roblox goods. <laughs> That's the part that it, bothers me the most is that that is, that there exists hundreds of dollars of value within Roblox goods. It's it's weird. It is weird. Same thing applies to, like, CSGO items and other <laughs> items on Steam. But, yeah, these items just accumulate crazy value for some reason. Digital. Digital items. It's all just code. Right? It's ones and zeros. And yet, we, we attach a value to them because they look cool. It makes us feel special, I guess. 
I'm gonna start selling digital Gek products. <laughs> I'll cop. I don't know what that would. I don't know what that would look like, but maybe like skins. We'll Maybe figure this start out. with custom emojis. I don't know. Well, all right, man. I um, I want you to know, Martha. Martha. That I love you very much. I love you too, and, man. Uh, I'm glad to see that you've reformed your ways over the past eight years and that you've learned your lesson. Definitely. <laughs> all right, man. I'll see you Yo, soon. Shout out to my channel, King Pixels. Love you, Gek. Peace out. Oh, you're King Pixels. Yeah, I'm King Pixels. Oh hell yeah, man! I see you. I see you in the chat all the time. Good to see you, dude. Yeah, nice finally able to speak to you, man. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for roasting you kind of hard. <laughs> Not at all, man. You're hilarious. Thanks, man. I'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it. Peace, bro. Sexy get calendar. Ooh, that's an idea. Well, I'm gonna close the line real quick so I can talk about gecko merch. Wait, let me first check and see if my cam if my um Twitch channel's been unbanned. And then I'm gonna look at some text. All right, is, is, is it up? Is it still there? Is the channel there? It's probably not. I have an art biz on Etsy. Ooh, if you wanna help, uh, 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 shoot me a DM on uh, Instagram. I, look, I, I check those. So if, if you have an art biz, definitely hit me up because there's there are certain items that I've thought about that I really wanna sell that I'm like, I have no idea how the hell I would even begin to manufacture that. So definitely hit me up. No, it's not Lyle. What is that? What is that in reference to? A Gek potty pillow, Gek decals. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, the thing is not up yet. Um, yeah, Gek merch it's coming soon. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be conservative. I don't want to. I'm scared. I don't want to. I don't know how I feel about launching a Patreon and then the merch and then the, you know. Feels weird to do it all at once. But it's coming. Maybe I'll shoot for something next week. Try to get it up. Stickers. Hoodies. Ooh, earrings would be cool. Yeah, I really, I, 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 dead, I really want to do a plush. Like I would love to do a freaking plush. See you later, Caroline. I would love to do a plush. I just have no idea how to do that. Happy to be streaming from Boob Jail, Caroline. All right. Gek merch has now been moved toward the top of the priority list. Ooh, Gek earrings. It's interesting. Selling actual geckos. I don't know how I could brand. I wouldn't want. I would feel bad like branding them. Like taking my taking my tiny little hot hot little brander thing and just being like. And then they go. That's that's. That, that's that's the noise that a gecko makes when it's being branded with my with my official therapy gecko hot iron brander. It goes, <coughs> and that hearing that noise would break my heart. So I I cannot sell therapy gecko branded geckos for that for that specific reason. Priority queue in the call line for being a patron. I don't want to do, but I'm thinking. There's a lot of things I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about doing a like um maybe like a Sunday. Patreon only stream or something like that. I'll have to think about it. Tell me what you guys would want. I, I want to do a Patreon, so in the, maybe like on Discord or some shit. Tell me what you guys would want from that. And um, and I would love to know. A Gek emote hoodie. It's an idea. Set up a thing that tells caller what place they're online. Yeah, there's 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 so many things I want to do. Like buy a uh, actual call software that's not crappy Google Voice. Gek soap. Maybe I'll just open up a pop-up New York City store or something. I'll spend, you know, a million dollars. But yes, it's on the way.
Appreciate you guys' interest. It is coming. I see your account and my subscriptions. Oh, holy shit. Hold on. Alright, everyone stand- everyone stand by. Everyone stand down. Everyone hold on. Could this be it? Could this be the moment? No, it is not. This is not the moment. Or I repeat, this is not the moment. I am still banned. I'm gonna be patient. It could be three full days. I'm just gonna wait. But thank you guys for being for being here uh, in boob jail. You see my account. That's good. Do you do you see it? And it wasn't there before. All right. Whatever. We'll we'll figure this out. Who cares? All right. Let me read some of these texts. There is no reason prisoners shouldn't be able to voluntarily participate in blood sport. It's fair. Sweet socks. Okay, this one is very long. I'm going to read it when I'm not streaming. But but I, I will read this radical official. Someone said, I'm trying to have your kids. I don't know about that. Oh, the first text I was going to read. Which text? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, someone's saying that for quality, I need to get a call screener. That that will happen. Once When I can afford a call screener... There's, there's, there's big plans on the way, dude. It'll happen. But... For now. I got all this stuff in my mind. I, I appreciate the suggestions. Because I, I do I do consider all of them. And I have a giant list of like... I genuinely have a list in my notes of like... 10 different like big ass things that I got to do. But um... I will get to it. I promise. Thank you guys for the support and for sticking by as we as we venture on this journey of doing this thing that we have no idea what it really is that we're doing. Are you liable to get paid by Twitch with a stretch and boob jail under your belt? I hope, I freaking hope so. I will make another call, Jacob Bresler. But right now, I'm talking about myself. You know? Thank you, King Pixels. Look, Jacob Bresler, I know, I know you want me to talk about you, and I will talk about you at some point. I'm talking about you right now. But, you know, I was just carving out, you know, five, ten minutes to, you know, just talk about myself, Jacob. <gasps> I got a notification. Did you guys fucking see that alert? Did you guys fucking see that alert, dude? That follow alert? Did you guys see that follow? Is that that means that I, that means that people can? Let's go, baby. All right, the account is back, but um. Hold on, I'm gonna answer for, I'm gonna answer calls. All right, the account is back, but um Yeah, apparently I lose a bunch of followers or something like that, which sucks, but Yeah, I might have to wait until the followers are back. So You texted me an image. Hold on. Yo, what's up, Anthony Whipple? I'm glad you like the carrot spaghetti. All right, my account is back. Hopefully, follower account stuff will come back soon, but whatever.
Oh, shit, yeah. All my followers are coming back. That's good. Thank you for following. All right. I'm going to look at this crap later. I also need to sign in and delete that VOD. So I should probably do that soon. The Twitch account is the same as this... Um, the Twitch account is Lyle Forever. The, the words. Fellow came right up. Fellow came back. All right. Yeah, it, it'll it'll come back. All right. Let's fucking go, dude. We back. I had to refollow, but I didn't have to rescribe. It'll probably... It'll probably go back up. We'll see what happens. What's up, Mandy? What's up, Logorn? What's up, Magnificent Marauder? What was that prison background for? Who knows? But I might make this the new official Gecko Forest. I freaking love this background. It's sick. Oh, from what was it? Oh, I have no idea. This is fucking exciting for my mundane life as well, Mallory. X. What's up, Seamus McCloud? The past is the past. We're free, baby. I love this fucking background. This is sick. I feel so ho I feel happy here. I'm out of Twitch jail. I don't want to. I don't want to even look at my freaking Twitch right now, just cause I'm I'm scared that the follows won't come back. But I'll I'll do it in a sec. Uh, the most impressive thing I can do. I don't even know. The line is not open right now, but I I will open in just a sec. Oh yes, new topic. Thank you, Miranda. New topic, being unbanned. Hey, Gek, I missed the beginning of the stream. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Um, I was banned from Twitch, um, and I am now unbanned. And I will never, ever, 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 look at or even think about a boob again. Because I got banned for posting a boob. All right. Line is open, 401472-GECK. I have 3.9 followers on Twitch? Hell yes. Okay, great. Amazing. They're coming back. Y'all are the best. Appreciate it. They're going back up, baby. The GECK Nation, you can't keep us down. And I mean, you can if you're Twitch and you can ban us, but... Call we'll from Miranda. Miranda. Miranda, you were the one that suggested that we have unbanning stories, so I would love to hear an unbanning story from you. Oh my god, incredible. This is very exciting. I think it's I'd make it. It's exciting for me as well. Hey, how are you how are doing? You, you or, know, sorry? I'm okay. <laughs> Thanks for asking. How long have you been watching the stream? Um, I've been watching since you started with the prison bars. I came over from when you did a TikTok live. Oh, shit. Nice. Wait, so was this your first time in the stream? This is my first time in the stream, but I've been, like, watching your TikTok for a while. I've just always been oh, cool, busy. Oh, cool, Awesome. Well, I'm glad that you're, you're here. You're here in, I mean, a moment in history, Miranda. I know. This is incredible. This is, this is the best moment I could possibly have been here. Ah, fuck. Ah, uh, Miranda, goddammit, hold on. Um, my AirPods just died. Give me one second here. Oh, no! The stream's not frozen, is it? I don't think so. I can still see stuff on the stream. Ah, 
Ah, shit. Okay. All right, wait, Miranda? Yes. yes. All right, hold on real quick. I okay. Gotta, no. I got I to gotta charge my AirPods. Sit, sit tight with me. You said you're. I like that you're typing in the chat still. That's fine. <laughs> while, while I'm waiting. I know. I'll keep you on the. I just. I. I. I neglected the fact that my AirPods. Can people? Can people still hear Miranda right now? Is there like an echo or some shit? Chat. Can you hear? I don't Miranda? know. Here we, I'll talk really quick. Is there? I don't know if there's an echo. All right, okay, they, they hear say that All right, fuck it. Fuck. There's, there's a tiny echo. All right, so what, while, the, while these bad boys charge... So what's up, Miranda? Hit me. I guess I had an unbanned story idea that stemmed from a story from when I did get banned. I want to hear the whole saga, but I want to... You can hear it clearer, but there's some echo. No echo. Echo ye. It's good. Miranda, can you tell me something unrelated, and then once my AirPods charge, we can get into the full story? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, what do you normally look at when you're on TikTok? Oh, God. Um, I guess I, I watch, like, a lot of art videos um, because I paint a lot, and so I like seeing how other people paint. Um, and then I get a lot of dumb shit. <laughs> And I get a lot of funny stuff. I get a lot of funny stuff like you. Um, I keep getting stuck on synth rat TikTok, where like it on opens up TikTok? like it's a synth rat TikTok. What is synth rat? It's so it starts off like a normal TikTok, but then all of a sudden part of like the screen burns off, and then like this person in a rat costume jumps out, and he's playing like one of those electric pianos, like the ones that like you have across your body and then he starts playing synth music in his rat costume and then it's like synth rat tiktok you can never escape i'm gonna have to find that i'm gonna have to google <laughs> synth rat tiktok I'll tag, I'll tag your tiktok account yeah, on tag me. i look at all I, I can't i don't look at every single comment but i look at every single mention because i can see all the mentions but um Tell me. Yeah, I'll, I'll mention you, you. I'll mention you on Synth Rat video. <laughs> yeah, mention me on Synth Rat, and I'll check that out. Can you explain something to me that this is thing that people do that boggles me on TikTok, where and people com people comment on my TikToks all the time, and they say I'm commenting to stay here. I want to stay on Therapy Gecko TikTok. I'm commenting, but then they don't follow my account. That's how you stay on accounts is you follow them. Yeah, no, I don't get that either, because when I find something I like, I just follow it. Like, whenever I see a funny video, I, like, go check out that person's account and see if, like, I consistently like their videos. And if I don't, then, you know, I just, I just leave. But if I do, then I follow them. Everyone thinks that they're, like, computer programming in the comments and shit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, maybe it's supposed to be, like... If you show that you're interested, you'll get more videos that are like those videos. But you should still follow that person. All right, let me see if these work. Oh, wait, hold up. Miranda? Yeah. Hell yeah, all right. Hold up. All right, we're back, baby. The echo should be gone. Um, um, everything is, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> I believe it. All right. Hit me, Miranda. Okay, so do you want to do you want to hear how I got banned and then how I got unbanned? Yes. Okay, I guess it's kind of a loose definition of like being banned and unbanned. But I guess so the story starts it's a little confusing. Um, but basically where I used to live there's this thing called shooting the tube. And what shooting the tube is, is it's this, this, <clears throat> it's this gigantic uh, mountain water drainage pipe. And basically what people will do is they, well, a bunch of people stole like a bunch of street signs and put them at the top of the tube 
So then what happens is you get a group of people, you sit in this huge drainage pipe and you like put the signs at, at the top. So the water eventually builds up and then you pull a rope that pulls the signs down. And then there's so much water that it shoots you through the tube into like the little lake at the bottom. So anyways. It's like a water slide. Yeah, it's like a really janky water slide that's in the mountains and is absolutely not supposed to be a water slide. Okay. Like, it's meant to collect water from all the snow. Okay. So, anyways, I was, like, and it's partially underground. So, I was standing, like, on top of this pipe. Not, like, actually on top on top, but I was, like, on the dirt stuff on top of the pipe. And 20 dudes decided to ride through that pipe at the same time. And so it started shaking and there was a little bit of a rock slide. And when I slid on the rocks that I was standing on, it like slid me into the pipe. And so then I fell at the end and then all of these people riding through the pipe ran over me. <laughs> yeah. Like in... Were they in a vehicle of some kind? No. Well, I mean, they were, like, on pool floaties because they were, like, shooting through the water. Hmm. So I got ran over by, like, a giant inflatable orca whale. So how did that get you banned? So, well, so what happened, um, I got banned from walking for six months. <laughs> because, oh. um... Because you I got broke banned my from leg. Walking. Yes. Yeah. And I also breaking kind your of, leg. Getting yeah, banned well, from walking. I got banned from walking for a while because my so like you know the the two bones beneath your knee. Two bones like in your, your leg. Knees. There's like two of them, and both of them broke, and yes. then one of them came out. What the fuck? Yeah, like, you know how your ankle has, like, the two bumps? So imagine if, like, one of those bumps just, like, came out. Like, you mean, like, just the, the, the two little bumps on the sides of my ankle? Yeah, and then, like, one of them was, like, a couple inches out of your body. Jesus, fuck. That sounds hor That sounds horrific. Well, yeah. <laughs> So, but yeah, so I got, I got banned from walking because that happened. And then I got banned from the park, not actually, but mentally I have banned myself from that park because, mm. uh, the fall wasn't that bad. It was actually, it was, it wasn't that bad. And the people were very nice to me afterwards. One of the dudes that hit me that was like sliding through, he was actually an EMT. So he helped me out a lot. But the Classic one thing that happened or what? I said the classic self ban. Yes. Yes. I've mentally banned myself from that place mostly just because it, the place where I landed it was a dog park too. And so a dog, like, like some owner didn't notice what was going on and a dog, like, tried to, to grab my bone. A dog tried to grab your bone. Yeah, like a, like a dude was playing fetch with his dog with like a frisbee, and the frisbee landed near where I was laying on the ground, like after everything had happened. And so then the dog like saw my bone sticking out and tried to get it. Jesus Christ. But it didn't. It, I ended up being okay. <laughs> but I have, me I have mentally banned myself from going back. Yeah, that is super terrifying. But I have been unbanned from walking. Um, I had to learn how to walk again, but now I can walk and run. Wow. So you got unbanned. Yeah, I got unbanned. Wow, now I feel a lot better about uh, my ban. My, I, I, I'll take my ban over your ban any day. <laughs> I don't know. Your ban, your ban is pretty bad. You know, like... I went through something, like, traumatic, and that sucks. But you know what? Like, I'm okay. But, like, you, like, your band, that, that could be a huge money thing. And that's really scary. 
I don't know. I, I would give all of the money in my Twitch account to not have my bones taken out of my body by a dog. Easily. <laughs> that is not I would, fair. I would, I would, I would 100% make that trade. That that you know that's fair. That is completely fair. I get that. That's wild. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's a funny story to tell because it's really ridiculous. How long ago was this? Um, this was almost exactly five years ago. Do you have to? Do you have any do anything like PT or anything? Yeah, I did. I have. I still have to do some PT. Um. But, yeah, it sucks because um, I can only do 10 sessions a year. Like, that's all that's covered. So it's taken a while to work on it, and I'm still working on it. Well, you're a, you're a trooper, Miranda. No, oh, thank you. Absolutely. That's, um... that's very nice. Well, I mean, what do you do? So when you're not, you know, getting killed <laughs> what do you do um i mean okay when i'm when i'm not falling into pipes um i guess like one of the main things i've been doing um i do chemistry research for the school i go to and okay. so i've been working on trying to um I guess in a really broad sense of terms, I'm trying to make, like, pharmaceutical drugs more environmentally friendly. That's interesting. That's something I have, would have no idea how to do. So you're trying to do, like, big pharma, but for the little guys. Kind of. I think what I said like, just made sense. Yeah, because, like, one of the things I'm specifically, like, focusing on, there's this one part of a drug that's, like, really common to use. It's called an amid. And basically, but the way that like big pharma makes it involves a shit ton of hydrochloric acid and actually a bunch of other acids, but that's one of the big ones. And so it's not good for the environment and it's also not good for the people that are making it because I think like on average, it creates like a hundred pounds of like acid waste per like one pound of actual like usable drug. Yikes. And so, yeah, like my professor are trying to fix that. Wait, well, well, I guess, yeah, you don't, you don't want to dox yourself. Are you an undergrad? Yeah, I'm undergrad. Huh, that's cool. You, you see, you have a lot of like s actual skills. Or did you say, do I have a lot of skills? I said you have a lot of like actual skills. Oh yeah, yeah, like. I, I mean, I hope. <laughs> um, I've been working on it for a while, so I, I definitely hope I have skills at least in a lab. Wow. Did, how, how long were you in the hospital after that shit? Um, okay, so when it first happened, um, well, first of all, it took like an hour for the ambulance to get there, which like was not was not cash money. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's because I was in a mountain, to be fair. But um, I was probably in the emergency room for nine hours just because I had to wait for like a surgeon to be available. Um, so that was sick. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, and then so the first surgery, they had to put in um, two metal plates and then nine screws. Um, and then I was on a wheelchair for two months. Um, and I had like a hard cast on, on my leg. And then they went in and did a second surgery after two months. And... Um, they took the cast off and then they had to do a second surgery to take two of the screws out because they were about like, they were really long. They were like as long as my corner finger, which is like, I mean, you can't see that. So that's a useless measurement, but you know, maybe like a couple inches. And if you try to like put weight on your leg with those screws in, those screws would break. So they had to take them out before I could start walking. Uh, 
And then after that, it was maybe another couple, like maybe like four months. And then I had a third surgery to take all the screws out. And, and then I had to have another cast on. So like, it was maybe like a whole year until I could like walk normally and I didn't have metal in my body. Wow. Um, a year long ban. Yeah, it was, well, so I could, I could walk after a couple months after the second surgery, but like it wasn't normal because I had a bunch of like metal in my body. But then after a full year, I could walk and run like normal. Were you sad during that year? I mean, it was, it was kind of shitty. Um, but like, one thing that got me through it is that like, I had some really cool friends and I think one thing that I learned during that time is that, you know, there are some really good friends that you're going to be able to notice and appreciate because they're going to be the people that are going to be there for you no matter what you're going through. And so there are some people that, you know, like this is when I was in high school and they're friends that I still have to this day. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, you know, a band, a band kind of shows you, uh, you know, who's there for you after you've been banned. Yeah. Yo, oh, yeah, of course. You know, like, not everyone can always be there for you, like, emotionally. But, mm-hmm. like, or I guess not everyone can always be there for you in a way that, like, maybe they're not mentally capable of being there for you, but... No matter what, like, your good friends are always going to pull through in some way to show their support. How did they, how did they support you? Um, I mean, one thing was just coming to my house or, like, being willing to drive me somewhere else just because I couldn't really get around a lot. Um, also, like, helping me get from class to class. Uh, some friends donated clothes, actually, to me because I grew up with not a lot of money, so I didn't have a lot of clothes. And um, most of my pants couldn't like fit over the leg cast that I had. And so I had a bunch of friends like donate me some like pants that could actually fit over the cast. Nice. Yeah, or like, or sorry. I know, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say like mostly it was just being really supportive and like, trying to make everything, you know, like, not normal, because things weren't normal, but they tried to make it as if everything, you know, didn't matter, that everything was okay. That's cool that it, um, you know, strengthened your relationships with your friends. Yeah, you know, like, that was definitely a big positive. I think another positive is, and this is a dumb positive, but I have some, like, pretty sick scars on my one leg and one of them kind of looks like a shark bite and so when little kids ask about it I just tell them that a tiny shark bit me oh shit I'm oh, hold on, I'm sorry but I uh ooh, so I'm so sorry man I'm reading in the chat right now I got I, I got to uh give me can you give me one second I I I need to um delete that vod from my Twitch channel I'm so sorry to interrupt you about this but I'm Terrifying me. Oh, no, it's, it's totally fine. Okay. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that I am all good. Beautiful. That was so easy. All nice. right. It's been deleted. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. What, what were you saying? Oh, no, no, no. It's totally fine. And I, I, <laughs> I don't even remember. I think, oh, wait, I said that I sometimes tell little kids that, like, my one of my scars is from a tiny shark that bit me, which isn't uh, true. A tiny shark? I don't know why, but a tiny shark almost seems scarier than a big shark. Because I, I, I can't I, even I mean, imagine I, a big shark. I don't know. I feel like, well, because tiny sharks, like if you go to an aquarium, like sometimes there are those like tiny little like tiger sharks, I think, that like you can maybe pet 
But then, I guess most animals aren't like that. But I don't know, tiny sharks, tiny sharks seem kind of cool, at least at an aquarium. Maybe not in the ocean. It'd be fun to own a little tiny shark. You know, one of these days oh, when I'm retired, I'm going to have his little zoo of like a tiny shark and of a million little geckos running around. It's going to be fun. That would be amazing. I definitely, I think when I'm older, I definitely want to do something similar. That's actually the ultimate plan for, for what I'm doing right now is, um, you know, I'm going to retire after the stream is over and then I'm mm -hmm. going to open up, a, open up a little, a little zoo of just a bunch of like, I mean, I'm going to get like hundreds of geckos, put them all in a little pin, have them run around and play and people can go visit my little gecko museum. Oh, that'd be, that'd be, that would be very cute, especially very like cute. a way that <laughs> I don't know if you'd want to be making money this way, but you could, you could have, um, people do like little gecko races. <laughs> like you can and have, people can like, bet on the geckos. Yeah. People can bet on their, on their like favorite gecko that they think will win. I, I, I got it. We're, we have to do a stream like that someday. I don't know how. I don't know how I can rent a gecko, but I have to do a stream where we all bet on geckos. I have to figure out how to do that. Alternatively, if you can't rent geckos, you could get four friends in gecko costumes and have people on stream bet on which person in a gecko costume will win. The Gek Olympics. The that's in, the Gek Olympics. That's incredible. We're doing the Gek Olympics. Someone write that down. I don't know when. I'll write I don't that know down. <laughs> write that down for me, Miranda. You. Text it to me. Yes. <laughs> you have Miranda. You have two oh, things. Wait. You need to. You need to text me the Gek Olympics, and you need to tag me in. Synthrat TikTok. Synthrat TikToks. Yes, that's your homework for for the. That's that's my. If I you, you know how the therapists the therapies I'm not a therapist. That's your homework, Miranda. Oh, not you're you're my professor Gek. Professor pro, Professor Gek. I'm going to see how many Gek. different things I can maybe uh I'm going to see how many different professions I can pretend to have as a gecko. After therapy gecko, we're doing gec law. Wait, now there's you... specifically a clip of oh, god damn it. Hold on. Oh no. Give me one sec, Miranda. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Christian, for um, for letting me know about these things. Oh my god, there's so many fucking clips of this fucking god. Hold on. Shout out for Christian. Uh, shout, shout out to Christian. Working on the rave. Thank you guys for being patient while I clean my Twitch channel from boobs that will get me banned for life. It's gonna happen, Miranda. We're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna clear my record, I'm gonna clear my name, I'm gonna go back to law school. They're gonna let me in, Miranda. It's gonna be all thanks to they you. Will. It's gonna be all thanks to the I don't know why the hell this is still there. I don't know. I'm surprised that they didn't take the freaking thing down. But oh, holy shit! Why does that fucking dude? The clip, the Twitch clip, has 262 fucking views. Oh, that's weird. That is so weird. All right, well it's gone now. That's good. Hopefully it stays on. All right. Anything else I should know about, Christian? Are there any other videos? Hold on. Can anyone let me know if there's any other shit that I need to delete from my Twitch right now? All right. One... Sec. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh. All right, we should be good. Okay. That's yes, good. it is. It is a. It is a. Miranda, I, I need you to know that that it was it was just a microscopic nipple. 
Oh, no, I think I saw from one of your TikToks you talking about it. And, of course, you know, like, you didn't show any nip knops there, but I believe you. No, yeah, the I, the the version on I don't know that would be stupid if I got double banned from just explaining the ban and then yeah it's all gone. But um yeah, Ghost Nuts in the Afterlife is fine. I can talk about <laughs> Ghost Nuts. I just cannot show. It was a microscopic nipple, Miranda. It was so small. No, I believe you. And it's stupid that 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 microscopic nip knob got you banned. But it's all in the past. You can walk. I can talk and stream it. We're good. And yeah, no, no more, no more, no more nip knops haunting you. Well, Miranda, thank you for being on the phone. Thank you for keeping me company on the phone as I did that. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, no, of course. Is there anything else you wanted to? Um, I think I think I'm probably gonna wrap up the stream a little. Uh, probably gonna wrap up the stream after this call. But um, is there anything else that you wanted to want to talk about, Miranda? Before we let you go, um, I don't think so. I guess ha have a good night, and I guess um, ha have fun on Twitch in the near future. I hope everything goes well. I, I hope to see you there, dude. Yeah, of course, of course, I'll be there. Rock and roll. All right, Miranda, okay. I love you very much, and I I'm excited to check out this uh, rat synth. Okay, I'm so excited to show you. Um. Yeah, have a good night. I love you, too. Thank you so much. Good night, Miranda. Have a good one. You, too. All right. Rock and roll. How did you get out of prison? I waited. I, s I waited on my turn. Hey, Lyle, can you send me your recording of this riot in prison stream? I recorded the part where we were talking, but I didn't get the audio. My recording? Um, I think that there is a, uh, thing. You stayed up to get a call in? Radical official, you will get to call again. I see, I, I see you, da I see you, radical official. I see your persistence. I want you to know, radical official, that you are acknowledged. You are valid. I see you down there. I see how persistent you are. I see that it is your destiny to talk to me. And I believe that if it truly is your destiny, that destiny will be fulfilled. Maybe not tonight. Maybe not Wednesday. Maybe not Friday. But it will be fulfilled. You just gotta be patient. Just sent you a picture of your reaction to get out of jail. It's so cute and pure. I will look at this. Alright, I don't know if I'm gonna take any more calls, but... Let me see if let me see what we got going on in, in the texts. So let me see what's going on in text land. Okay. Oh, we got a lot. Oh hell yeah, that that pi thank that picture is funny, babe Vader. Thank you for sending me that. I can see you, Copy Crane, ninety five. Paragraphs of philosophy. I will. I will. I. Will, I'll, I mean, I'll, I. I read. I read all the text off stream. So anything people said, text me. I do read it. Gek, you're an idol for thousands. Well, thank you, Seamus McLeod. What would be the... Uh, Seamus, you're saying that you could... You're changing, you could change my perception of everything? I'm skeptical, but... But I'm intrigued, slightly. In 200 plus deep. Try calling for a couple streams. Fate will get me when I have the perfect story. I believe it will as well, Christian. Miranda was 100 calls deep, and she got in, and it was pleasant. And she aired herself out. And it, and it went well. Dude, what the f- Yeah, thank you to whatever this number is that texted me this- It's- it's a screenshot from mobile of, uh... The frickin'... 
of the clip still being up. Thank you for texting me that. What the? Why the hell would they not remove that? You just tried to find my Twitch and you can't? Try again. It should be good. Let's see what else. Spice up your DNA with lobsters. That's interesting. I sent you an Instagram message on making merch. All right. We'll do, we'll, 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 we'll do a little biz in the DMs. I made a crack spoon when I was seven. Says Leanne, but she's gone. Read mine from Justin. That's my good friend Justin. I don't want to read that one. All right. I will, I will read the rest of these on stream. Thank you guys for sending. All right. Um, beautiful. Immaculate. Thank you guys so much for 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 sticking around. You know, I was I was going to say this, you know, look. Similar to what Mar I want to I want to thank you guys, you know, because I I really do cuz you know, look, what Miranda said about how her friends, I don't want to compare my situation to Miranda's at all, but it did kind of make me think, you know. What Miranda said about how a ban shows you who your real friends are. You know, all the I, I, all the messages I got on all the pl everything on my Instagram and the, you know, the Discord messages and um, everything, everyone coming together telling me how much that they've really enjoyed the stream. It does, it means a lot. It really, really does. I, I appreciate it very, very much. Um, at first, I was upset about the ban, and then, and then I was reading these messages, and I'm like, this ban showed me that how many people, you know, have been watching the stream. People have, have don't recognize, have to have, you know, sent me DMs, uh, you know, being like, hey, you know, we'll, if you're banned from Twitch, we'll come wherever you are. And I was like, it's extremely nice. Thank you for that. Um, very, very nice of you guys. Um, so, yeah. Appreciate it. Anyone who's, you know, sent me anything like that, I appreciate it very much. Anyone who is still here watching the stream, who's been watching the stream, if it's your first time, welcome. Um, all right. All right. Well, what's next? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Coming, coming soon. Here are things that are coming soon. Um, I posted a message in my Discord about an editor, and I've gotten responses, and I need to... So if you've sent me a response, I'm sorry I haven't responded to that yet. But I really want to make a... Like, like tonight. Like, this is the four-hour VOD, but, like, I want to cut it down to, like, an hour and a half for, like, a podcast. That's on my list. That's one. Patreon's coming soon. Merch is coming soon. P.O. Box is coming, like, this week. So if you have anything you want to send me... You'll be able to send it to me this week, and I will, I'll open that, that bitch on stream. I'm excited. Um, all right, rock and roll. Yes, sir, there is a Discord copycat, copycrane95. Anyone want to send him the Discord link? You can absolutely send love. Send, send me a box of trash. I don't care. I'm just excited to get a package. All right. Thank you all for tuning in. It's been, been, it's been wonderful. Um, I will be back on motherfucking Twitch. L much love to YouTube, but I will be back on Twitch uh, Wednesday. Ten PM Eastern Standard Time. If you're new here, I do this stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch at ten PM Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you then. Join the Discord. Uh, I love you all much. Usually we do a raid, but now we can't. And, uh, yeah. That's it. That's been the Therapy Gecko Show. There's a Discord. Where can I find that? Here, hold on. I, I will... Does anyone, does anyone have a, um... Can anyone invite, invite these, invite these guys to, uh, our Discord? Can anyone have a Discord invite link they could drop real quick? I should have just put it in the fucking um, description. Oh, okay. You know what? Here's how you find the Discord. If you're listening to me right now. Uh, go to my Instagram, which is in the bio of this video. Go to my Instagram, and then go to my link tree. And the Discord link is in my link tree. 
So go to the bio of my Instagram, go to my link tree, and the Discord link is in there. So go to there. So you can do that, or... Yes. I'll say it one more time. You go to my Instagram, and then you go to the link tree, and you find the Discord. It's the Discord server of purity and wealth. All right. That's enough of me talking. I love all of you very much, and I'll see you again on Wednesday on twitch.tv slash forever.